All right. How's everybody doing? Hey, what's going on? Oh, let's go. So hopefully, hopefully, chat, there's not going to be any uh, crackling audio like sometimes happens. Um, I think I finally narrowed down the issue, and I think it's just going to make a smoother experience overall as well. I think a lot of my connection issues that I was chalking up to uh, Spectrum were actually um, an OBS beta setting that I was using. So hopefully, knock on wood, that's going to fix it. But that being said, I'm very excited for this bracket today. <laughs> yeah, Man. this is actually... It's really funny, because earlier we were talking in the TO side of this, and it's just like... Oh yeah, this bracket looks really quaint tonight. You know, it's just gonna. I think we're gonna have like a modest bracket. It'll be a good time. <laughs> and then every single killer just jumped right on in on it. And now like, we got a real slobber knocker bracket tonight. I'm here for it. Yeah, the overall level of this bracket is uh very very high. Um, so I think we're gonna have a ton of just really fun sets. Um, if you want to follow along, you guys already know exclamation point bracket in the chat um you can see i've charted out our entire stream matches for the evening so you'll see everything we plan to stream from round one we're gonna have ssk versus bloopy and then icarus versus soul Raba. i think those are both gonna be bangers um, uh, you know like our, we have some really good round ones and i think they're oh, really yeah. gonna kind of they'll highlight some players that we don't get to see really often so i'm i'm here for it um unfortunately this uh this next match i I've got biases both ways because these are both my kids. <laughs> like SSK is my large child, and Bloopy is my weird Twin Peaks child. So I'm, you know, I'm torn like right down the middle of just who. Yeah, like, yeah. I, like it, where's the bias coming in? And like uh, <laughs> my old heart, 100. percent um, We also do have a matcherino. I see somebody already donated, so thank you for that. Let me see if I. Uh... I gotta refresh it, I think, in here. Let me, let me get in there too. Trap yeah. a little. Lennox already with the forty. Damn, commentating and donating. Thank you, Lennox. Um, as you guys already know, we have stretch goals at one hundred and fifty. Top four gets paid out. Three hundred and twenty. Top six. Six hundred and sixty. Top eight. Um, we also have a bunch of free codes that just put free money into the pot. So, if you're tuning in and you haven't used a code already, click the link in chat. It'll take you to this page. You can click that blue claim code button. It just puts 25 free cents into the pot. Underneath as well, we have tons of uh, sponsor quests. All of the sponsor quests just put free money into the pot as well. So uh, just liking YouTube videos, etc. And yeah, 25 free cents. Oh, Seth also, thank you for the 25. Let's go. Yeah. I gave a little bit of love to the bracket on Sunday, so I feel it's only only right <laughs> for me to to put in a little bit here. Uh, did you put that clause in about skimming off the top? <laughs> I did not. I should have though. Man, one day trying to get trying to get paid, brother. <laughs> um, one day when the when the pots are consistently big enough, we'll uh, we'll think about it. Oh. But, I think Lennox is already playing his first match, so let me. Yeah. I'll get our uh, our first couple of gamers in here, and then we can get started with SSK versus Bluey. All right. So Bloopy gonna be on the Eustace for sure. Also, chat. Let me know how the sound is. If I gotta turn it Bloopy. up or. Change it. Is Zoe. No, Zoe, Zoe. I always, I read the B L O O, and I always think blue for a split second ah. every single time, without fail. My mind like cuts off the. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say the the P Y at the end. Uh, that's a better way than initially how I was gonna say it. No, I um, get it. There's like <laughs> there was like an entire four tournament block where I did not call Blue B the right name. <laughs> So like you're not you're not alone in your in this uh, scammery here, but you know, Lord in heaven, we're both in it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm very excited to see this. Yeah, this is gonna be a really good match. We've seen SSK make some really, really good runs lately too. Um, yeah. Last tournament, I believe, was the one where he 
put MBK and losers to make top eight. That's true. That's true. That match was insane. I forgot about that. Which match was insane? Did I miss it? No, no, Not no. You, you are just in you time. You are literally oh, right on time. That is excellent news. This is fortuitous. Oh, I literally, I haven't missed anything. Oh my goodness. All nope, right. You haven't missed a thing. Oh, all right. This is wonderful. How, how is everyone tonight? I think they're pretty good. Match I Reno already at 80. Wait, let's go. Let's go. Cooking. Do we get another donation if that would happen? Third? Or can I just not math? Oh, we did Dream Castaway. Thank you for the 12. Thank you very much. Thank you. Why is this not working? Uh, Are you having a stroke there, brother? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, like, I thought something weird was happening, that I felt the blood coming down from my nose, and I'm like, that's what's going on. Okay. I have oh, an you're answer now. You're hemorrhaging. Good. Yeah. It seems I might be having an aneurysm. Interesting. Um, um, I'll well. just, you know. Go take uh let's go rub some bar some dirt in it. Yeah, exactly. I'll be fine. <laughs> There's great blue going on. <laughs> it took me a second to get to my metaphor, but boy howdy, we finally got to it. We got there. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> oh man, all right. So this is gonna be a fun matchup. SSK uh has been cooking lately. Uh, I think just finished like top three or four and something, I can't remember. Yeah, uh top placed I believe second at uh the at uh, SQ's Evo or like the SQ run events. So, oh, that's what it was. Okay, that's high. Yeah, I Squeevo. I it just doesn't like it doesn't roll off the tongue, right? It's, just, it's got a bad mouth feel. I don't know. I'm a fan of Squeevo. That's a that's a fun thing that I've <laughs> no. never said before. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah. Please support SQ in the events she puts on. Anyways, <laughs> for real, for real. Oh man, all right, so let's see you. Oh, oh no. Yeah, look, look at him. Bear with us. Looks, there may be just a little. Never mind. We are good. We are super good. I really knocked down from Bluebee is like the big thing she wants to get in this because the more Percy gets stocks, the more dangerous things are about to get. But getting that early knockdown to the dragon set play and especially just kind of not letting Percy go, I think is going to be the best strat for Bluebee here. Yeah, Zoe, one of the few characters that has like maybe not hit buttons like quite big enough to really rival Percival's, but you can you can contend with certain things. Setting the trap. I don't think this is gonna be kill, but it's gonna be real close. Yeah, I think it's gonna put SK into a range, but that's the most we can expect. Yeah, yeah I think as long as she did the true input, it should not. She should still get Oki. SSK finding a swing and taking it. Now Just pressing has to guess correctly. Head. Oh, goes for the setup with the command throw. Or sorry, the command dash. Yeah, two touches just like that. This is a much more uh, even uh, game. Uh, what? Oh my goodness. Buff Percival question mark? That's incredible. I don't think I've ever seen that whiff at that range. Oh my goodness. All right. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, round one coming down to a little bit of spaghetti. Bluebee managing to clutch it out with the Air EX light. Yeah, that J22X uh, very strong, um, especially in this situation. Yeah, it covers so much screen range on that too. Plus, like it just it comes out it, like it comes out really quick. Even if you're like trying to scout the jump out, like there's not a lot of time to really effectively counter it outside of it having like an invincible aerial attack. So it's just a nasty, nasty move. But speaking of nasty, SSK getting the command throw. Oh yeah, it doesn't get the double DB combo. But... Oh, what a whiff punish! Here we go. This is not a great spot for Bluebeam. Yeah, unfortunately, kind of stuck in the Grand Blue zone. A straight hit, and it's it. Love this range that SSK is playing at, too. Right outside that far end, or far medium, excuse me. Yeah, this is Chip right here. Oh, no, we have a chance. Okay, overdrive. We cannot afford to get hit, though. This is so scary. Yeah, yeah unfortunately, gets a little bit bold with the Dragon Charge there. SSK honed in with the Stinger. Like, when a lot of people think about the Percy fear, they don't think about full screen stab. That is absolutely an option you gotta worry about sometimes. And we see the Percy players make really good use of it. Anyone who's watched or played Langston can see that that far M into Stinger confirmed. It's 
all he needs to get his game going. He's so good at finding it. Yeah, we haven't seen Langston come out in a while, which is too bad. Oh, I love Langston. Yeah. Those, as I was gonna say, those lunch break death sets are so mean. I love them. <laughs> All right, uh, Loopy, uh, bringing it back there, though. Oh, my goodness. That was convincing in that last round, too. Like, barely took any damage. Yeah, that was. And that's the thing. If Zoe gets her game started early, you're really just kind of. It's button into EX knock, EX hard knockdown into Dragon Oki, then the setup, then the recharge, and then you do it again. Loopy's that, or, uh, Zoe's definitely one of the characters in this game that I think is, like, fairly explosive in terms of just what they get off of round start and what it can lead to. Damage yeah. itself may not be that high, but just the looping set play and how effective it is alongside just how good her other options are, it's really worth noting just when you take a look at this character and the players who do well with it. Yeah, and Bloopy's done a really good job of uh, leveling up uh, their gameplay in terms of like getting that looping set play more consistently. Because before it was like, get the hit, maybe back off pressure after like one loop or so. But... SK finds the hit. Oh, no. Don't think this is going to follow up, but puts SSK in a good situation. Blue be afraid of the command throw, tries to mash out, unfortunately. Gets hit for their troubles and gets put out. Alright, SSK's got a chance. Instant plus frames right off the bat. Yeah, we've seen SSK get away with a lot of either with just making good use of the empty command dash or the command dash into the uh, M overhead. I don't think I've seen it challenged once this entire set. Yeah, Blue be prone to a uh, turn. SSK swinging for the fence is good lord. <laughs> yeah, this is all offense from SSK right here. Finds the hit. Alright, we're just gonna have to find a spot to overdrive. Oh, it spends oh, the back shit. I really like that kind of minor OS from SSK though, using it to really kind of scout out, both to set up a meaty situation as well as clip the rush coming down. Unfortunately, didn't find the hit on the rush, but still managed to maintain plus frames and put Bloopy in a situation where she gets caught. Yeah, and now SSK is moving into position to take this set. That was a very convincing turnaround. Um, and I, I think we got to see Bloopy take a little more active defense. Uh, SSK is just going in right now, I think, recognizing Bloopy's start eternal. I think you have to go one of two ways. Realistically, either be a little bit more active on defense, which does carry a little bit more risk, or make your gameplay around specifically to be away and outside of the ranges where SSK has the access to that command dash. Yeah. It's once he gets in this position or just like slightly extended, basically I, what I'd say is like far M range, the command throw becomes so nasty just because of the short range traveled and then the overhead and other options that can come with it. So it's just kind of like, this is a deer in a headlights moment when you're already trying to focus on not getting hit by the raw far end. Ooh, finally gets the counter poke right there. Bloopy can't get a knockdown off of it now. He's stuck in the corner. Matt's dead. Oh my goodness. Far M. No, no not quite. I was say, I know SSK well enough. His single hit confirms are good, but he's not doing it with the with the act. Or he's not doing it with the regular input, so oh, he's going to suffer a little bit of damage. Now, full screen away has to deal with the dragon set play. Again, though, there it is, full screen stab. SSK doing a great job of checking Bloopy on those charges. And that's the big thing you have to be aware of is from a certain spacing, that pressure, especially with M Dragon and using Light Dragon, is spaced to be plus. But at the range that Bloopy was at, she wasn't at a situ she wasn't at a situation where she could fully threaten, and SSK took advantage of it to find the hit and close it out. Oh, far heavy. Able to get the stocks here, but still stuck. And Goes for the dust loop. We have those. Grand blue handshake, unfortunately. Goes for the low, doesn't get the follow-up hit, but doesn't matter in a good situation. SSK going to have to guess right every time, and it does not. That's checkmate right there. If you're SSK, you have to challenge because that's chip, but Loopy was plus and ready. Loopy tying it back up. Oh, so early on, we're still seeing SSK get a lot of use of just kind of alternating command throw and maybe one of Percy's uh, longer lower pokes. He's been really good at kind of keeping Bluebee locked down and making sure that she's just in a position where she has to respect the command dash pressure. Wow, actually getting the rush confirm off that far heavy. And once again, we're stuck in the corner. SSK in an interesting position. Oh, finally, Bluebee reacts to it, finds the hit, and now has control of the screen. Oh, punishing the far heavy, but Bloopy does manage to find overdrive right here. Set up the lightning. That whiffs too. Oh, no. Bad position. Any stray from 
SSK that hits Bluebee is going to be it, and we've got one. Yeah, this is throw range right here, and Bluebee's about to bleed out that overdrive time, too, so you can't afford to just play time for that. Yeah, not only, as I was say, not only bleeding out overdrive timer, also bleeding out dragon meter, but goes to set the dragon. Doesn't. We see Bluebee go to set the dragon. I'll just let the replay start. <laughs> so we see from right here, SSK specifically really controlling the range with Far H. And I think that's why we see Bluebee start relying on the fireball a bit more, hoping to just kind of preemptively poke and keep him out. But once we get this situation, Bluebee's on the one touch game and now like finding a small hit, pushing her way out, goes for the dragon set play. But at this point, like didn't account for the fact that Percy EX fireball, especially with stocks, has a bit of pierce to it. Yeah. So cut through the dragon's first hitbox and then manage to hit Bluebee to close it out. Yeah, I definitely want to see uh, some more whiff punish attempts from Bluebee. We saw quite a few um, whiffed far heavies from SSK that just kind of went unpunished. And honestly, like final game, final round, that could have been a difference maker. Absolutely. And, you know, for his, like... That's the thing about Percy on top of all of his tools are just kind of good, especially now that he doesn't need stocks. Um to get hit some of his conversions yeah but he does overload your mental stat because you're not only trying to like deal with are my in range of far m am i in range of catching a fireball am i in far h range like you're oh, having yeah. to navigate you're having to navigate neutral in a situation where he is advantaged on everything he does so it's a lot to really it's a lot to really process when you look at that and it's i think some of that processing that just got bluebee put in the corner and had to deal with it speaking of a lot yeah. of processing the Charlotta <laughs> champion. I was gonna say, yeah. <laughs> oh man, I. Uh, oh no. Hello. Oh, okay. No, I'm sorry. I thought Icarus was playing uh, Charlotta as well for some reason. Um, oh yeah, no. I was. I saw I got both. Of, by the team. <laughs> I saw both of those, and I was like, hang on, something. Some ain't right here. I'm not tripping, right? Like Icarus does have a Charlotta. Did I just make no. that? Up? You made that up. Oh damn. I, I'm right. sorry to. Listen, no, it's I okay. Called, I need to call, keep me honest. I have called some people that yeah. uh, show up here in about two hours. Okay. And uh, we're going to get you the help you need, buddy. Thanks, pal. Anyway, yeah. I can count on you. Speaking of getting the help you need, so Raba, <laughs> leveraging, uh, leveraging the plus frame really well, finds the jump and now gets the EX knockdown. Ooh. Ooh right. That's the overhead option that time. Actually working out. Yeah, this is a bad spot for Icarus. Not I don't think kill. he's dead, but it's close. It's close enough to, you gotta worry about. Oh, okay, there's the throw. We got the tax. And the parry. Yeah, all right. And that's one thing I really like about uh, Sol Raba. He's very quick to kind of realize the situation where maybe he doesn't get the exact anti air he wants, but is able to like capitalize on 5U and at least get into a better position rather than have to deal with everything. Yeah, great risk reward there too, because if you get punished, like flimsy little mid screen punish, you have full health. Uh, so Raba is going to bring Icarus back to the corner, though. That's, that's funny. This is usually very much G decided, but Soul Raba is making this thing mighty convincing. Oh, absolutely. And the other thing we see here that Soul Raba is making good use of is just kind of understanding where his spacing's at and yeah. leveraging meter usage with that rush to kind of get the screen, to get the screen control that he had. But unfortunately, now sitting in the Grand Blue zone against Gita has to be really careful, especially kind of with her movement speed and everything that he needs to do. It didn't matter because he jumped in on her, but good lord, that was such a bad situation to be in, especially for Charlotta. Yeah, like we said earlier, there's all I think all the show knows like kind of dumb on Charlotta to be honest, but it doesn't matter. Soul Rob able to find the uh, Honda hands confirm off the two U. Good stuff. Yeah, swinging a mitt or swinging a hit. Soul Rob uh, taking a pretty aggressive game one. Curious to see what and if Icarus has the adaptations for. Especially now, round start, gets the jump in, finds the hit. Yeah, first the thing you gotta do the corner. is slow this pace down because Soul Raba is doing any and everything that he wants to do right now. And that's the thing you have, that's the thing about players like this that you have to understand is sometimes you're not just playing a character like matchup. Mean. You have to specifically shut down a specific play style of it. And Soul Raba right now has just been like getting that ass Gutex like I am here. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Oh, there's the career. Oh, that's dead. That's dead. That is dead. I was like, there's a moment where I was like, hang on, this might not pick up. And, <laughs> yeah. and I was like, all right, we're good. 
I think that every time that command grab hits mid screen, and almost every time I'm proved wrong. <laughs> it's so wild. Like, it's just a, it's just a really funky looking grab animation because you're like midway <laughs> yeah. in the screen. You're like, there's no way that uh, two M is gonna hit. Oh no, there it is. Speaking of hitting, <laughs> oh the rush confirms. Okay, let's go. So Rob, I'm making really good use of ball in a lot of situations here. We saw a couple of uncontested light balls, and then immediately threw the agent to gain plus frames, and now has the corner. Yeah. Oh, good awareness. Catches the walk up with the 2U into the DP. Gets the setup in a demon flip. Soul Rama sitting pretty. Haha, <laughs> there it is. All right, that's checkmate right there. I love the pace change there from Soul Rama, shutting down the, uh, basically the escape attempts from Icarus. Just playing the Grand Blue Zone, not like going in as hard as he was earlier. Just saying, all right, I got a massive health lead. You got to get out now. And when you try, I'm going to win. Absolutely. So it's a really just dangerous situation, too, because once Charlotta gets going, you kind of have to play along with her game. And you're not only are you dealing with her multiple options to be plus forward moving Blanca ball and demon flip, you're also having to really kind of make sure that she's not putting you in just basic strike throw. Her throw animation is such that it's really hard to kind of it, it's fast. It's hard to realize mm -hmm. that you're being thrown until it gets hit. Yeah, yeah, that's that's one of those ones like. I don't know. I'm, I'm a firm, firm believer in don't stand up against Charlotta. <laughs> Eat the overhead. I hear that so often. Everyone's like, just, just, just take, take the over the head. Yeah. Yeah. And like, obviously, that's not what we call, a, you know, sustainable advice in every situation. <laughs> but uh, sometimes like, you just have to be that dude. Like, yeah. I, I don't know what to tell you, but sometimes you just have to be that dude. That's um, 100 speaking of being that dude, I will be back in just a second. Oh, I thought that was going to be a segue <laughs> to the Madrino. I'm going to steal it anyway. Yeah, take it, take it. Be that dude. Claim those codes. Um, we have a Madrino for this evening. The link is in chat. Click it. It'll take you to this page. And yeah, if you click that blue button in the upper right-hand corner, you literally just put free money into the chat. 25 free cents right there. Um, help us hit our spawn or our stretch goals at 150 top four gets paid out 320 top six 660 top eight um, it might not seem like much 25 cents on its own is not necessarily a huge amount but it does add up very very quickly so if you haven't already please claim the codes do the sponsor quests which are right below that and you know if you feel like it maybe uh Oh, I got to add them. Rookie mistake. I'm always confused which ones have them. But in a moment, <laughs> you'll be able to buy a hoodie and or a shirt or, you know, make a direct donation. Um, it really does. And I highly recommend help. you do so. The hoodies are very comfortable. They I are surprisingly comfy. I feel like I finally I found the right manufacturer and everything, and it just yeah. uh, it's working out well. It, it definitely is. Uh, I, I got one of like the early, um, what is it, Honest Mids hoodies, yeah. and M Imp was telling me like, yo, yo, yo you got to get the, what, what, what was the new one, the MWA one? I think it was the MWA yeah. one, which I had already been like, yo, I got I to gotta hop in that anyway, because that thing is nice. Um, but the like you said, like I was surprised at the difference in the new material. It was a noticeable difference. Yeah. All right. Oh, man. This is going to be, I think, key plays Lediva, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I already or forgot. Who? I... Oh. So this is going to be Senpai versus Key. I can't remember if Key is yeah, the one that plays Lediva or key. it's been a minute. Uh, yeah, I have I have no idea, to be honest. Um, <laughs> I saw I saw them in a lobby earlier. I was I was. Almost trying grand. to oh, grand. grand. Okay. Let's go. Okay. All right. So we get some grand tonight. Here we go. Yeah. That's let exciting. Me, let me give them the quick okay. And we'll get going. Granthony Gaming. Oh, oh man. I came back right in time. Right on time. We're going to have Senpai yeah. Spider versus Key. Key one. DR? Is it Doctor? Drive? Who knows? Doctor Key. Key. One, Your I name's think. now Doctor Key. Yeah, you guys are good to go, Key. I think it's. I, I thought it was like Key One Dominican Republic, but I may be oh. wrong. That is. That also makes sense. I'm gonna stick with <laughs> Doctor Key. <laughs> oh, all right. Actually, Seth, do you know who does who does? Oh no, no. I'm 
it's so dented. Never mind. Ignore me. Kimo I, DR plays Grand, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. You? <laughs> I like Dr. Key. It's new. All right. So, yeah, Senpai Spider usually on that Matera, but does play on right into Shoto's as a general. Yeah, and that's the better option here, especially because I think of all the Shoto's, Grand does really, really well against Matera. So, picking someone like Uno is probably the best option here. I think Grand plays fairly well against him, especially compared to, like, Catalina and Cheetah, who just get stepped on. But yeah. Grand, like... Grand with like some of his forward moving specials and his ability to capitalize on hits makes that matchup a little bit easier since he's less reliant on his fireball. Yeah, I mean, we saw it right there. Das Boot is uh, always a strong option. Oh, actually gets caught by that? That's incredible that Set by Spider was able to get a little mini confirm off it. That key. Key one uh, DR playing the long game here, just slowly kind of working his way out of the corner. Has that 5U pretty heavily charged up, but. Burns it, doesn't find the hit now, just kind of slowly working their way through the neutral. Oh, yeah. Variable timing on that big driver, uh, messing up the timing from Key. Oh, no, that might be it. No, not quite. Not yet, but in a bad situation, especially. We're probably going to see the overdrive. Didn't even finish my sentence. I was about to say, we're probably going to see the overdrive pop from him, but unfortunately, it just didn't work out. Would have been a scary range for that for sure, but I mean, like, what else are you going to do right there? Chip is, Chip is about to decimate you. Absolutely. And it's just a bad situation against any of this game's zoners, especially when they have the ability to pop OD and you're in chip range. It's just you're navigating like minefields rather than just the normal fireball war. Yeah, yeah, it is uh, an interesting experience, to put it mildly. That is a really interesting interaction. I don't think that was intentional, but it kind of worked out in terms of getting key one dr the side switch so we take those we absolutely take those because i was quite sure set by spider was going to get a big anti-air right there yeah i think if he'd been a little bit more ready for it that was like a pretty quick interaction we probably would have yeah. seen a parry or something but i think just in the heat of the moment we saw senpai try to go for it and didn't find it if we see that again senpai's one of those players that will have an adjustment yeah i was gonna say like speaking of finding it oh, i'm surprised <laughs> that didn't kill I was, I'm shocked that didn't kill. I was quite sure that was it. All right, but he does find overdrive though, so we got a chance. Yeah. Oh. Leveraging the boot for plus frames, unfortunately, Whiffs now right back in mid screen has to be careful. Looks like caught the up back there off the block to you. Uh, oh no, that's gonna hit. Yeah, so yeah. the beak driver there is kind of considered a strike, so it does beat some things that are different. It does beat some anti projectile options in the game. Yeah, um, <laughs> I mean, it, it, that is like by itself an anti projectile option, right? That, that blows right through uh, fireballs. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I, I'm fairly sure that it has pierced against other fireballs, but it's been a minute. I say it's been a minute, but like, I, I there's only so much knowledge I can have on a single day, so bear with me, all. Yeah, it's a full move. Alright, set by Spider basically working out a perfect right here. Oh, one, thing I really like, one thing I really like that I've seen by Spider this round is just the really good usage of far 5H against uh, Grant 2 or Grand 5U charge. We've seen a lot of that, especially in this matchup, and it's really helped Senpai close to these rounds out. Yeah, for sure. Um, set by Spider right here, sitting on game point. He has not been able to get much going, unfortunately. Well, starting to see a little more uh, contesting mid screen, and here we go. Finally gets the boot confirmed. Hey, we going. Oh, I like that little reset. This is the 5U after, but that's okay. Still has the life lead. Finds the fireball hit. Unfortunately, not a lot of options off of it. Has to work his way back through, but with this life lead, U1DR can take this slow and just and wait just to capitalize. Especially, like, spend a little bit of health, try to set up to dodge the the incoming far 5 h just let it rock or zone out that way finding good success especially like at that far 5 h range with great and fireball yeah this is starting to look a little more rough for senpai um full meter on both sides but he has such a massive life lead you can't really rely on chips oh uh, unfortunately finds the hit doesn't capitalize on it he dr he went dr still sitting in pretty yeah, not going to be able to find overdrive, though. Oh, no, no, there it is. Oh, 
goes ahead and just takes the damage and eats it raw. I think it's a really good decision from P1DR, especially because like now you have the chip on deck. Any stray fireball is dead for is death for Senpai Spider or a stray boot. Grand has a lot of forward moving options that are really good for this specific or for this specific option, but you need to be worried about that because we are about to time out. Senpai, yeah, Senpai just going for it. <laughs> I I like eating the throw right there just to bleed out the extra time and like you know it's not gonna kill but Yeah, that was a really good I, I really like the decision making on that from Q and DR. That was just kind of taking the, <laughs> the one time where we're telling you to take the throw. Bro. Yeah, and you don't want to risk the tech and have it be like universal over Yeah. Okay. Especially, especially with that much uh, resources on deck for Senpai Spider, sure. that was not a good decision. Or that was not a bad thing to bet against. Senpai Spider right back in the driver's seat, though, here. Got key stuck in the corner. Yeah, this range right here, you can react to fireballs and spot dodge. Play with that beat driver, react to any jump outs, react to boot, I think. Oh, unfortunately, tries to mash out a little bit too early and gets hit by the second hit of uh, Uno Sweep there. And that actually killed. Wow, okay. As expected. All right, that well, that was something. It's always something, brother. So right here we see that Q1DR still is in still in green health, mind you. Yeah. But having to slowly work his way out of the corner, Senpai Spider setting up the plus frames finds the second hit there. Unfortunately, Q1DR stood up just a little bit too early and now gets hit into the SBA, cashing it out. Senpai Spider going on. Yeah, I mean that's that's kind of what we've uh, what we've come to expect from Senpai Spider uh, over these past couple months. But True. that was a uh, that was definitely an entertaining game. Shout out to Key for uh, keeping things interesting. I've said it once. I've said it before. Senpai Spider is a player that like you really don't want to let get off of because the second you make that small mistake or the second mm -hmm. you yeah like the second you lose control, you're playing into his game and you're gonna uh, lose. Yeah, yeah. Like, you're going to lose a lot of goofy stuff, like, just trying to get in on Matera. Yeah. But even then, like, it's just, it's so dangerous. Yeah, it doesn't even matter which character he's playing. It's it's Very true, true. kind of, like, across the board. But Lennox, you're going to be on stream. I'm already in the room, homie. Oh, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm already out here. Um, yeah, we, we, we picked this, uh, this match for stream because, quote, it's going to be funny. Uh, <laughs> I, I can't believe it that. <laughs> Lennox, I can't believe you've exposed both my bracket seating process and uh, how we pick stream matches. So oh. just put me on blast. I hate it. I mean, the funniest part was you <laughs> said that as I was about to say it um, when when you told me it was on stream. I'm like, well, it'll be funny at least. Uh, right as you hit me with that. So I'm like, all right, that's it's we're glad we're on the same page there. It's all good. <laughs> Yeah, it's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine here now. Thank you. How how are you? Uh, things are not going to be fine for you, but that's besides the point. You're so right. <laughs> um, I did. <laughs> Yoshi Yoshi did play. Uh, Is this the Diva Lance? Me. Yeah, okay. I hate this matchup. <laughs> Dude, if, if, I, if Percival was better, I would break out Percival, but Dude, I'm, not I'm all about the grapplers. Jam. The more grapplers I play, the more I'm like, this is what I was missing. This is the visceral <sighs> feeling of fighting games that I was I was missing across all my characters. All right, anyway, that's throw, my screen. That? Definite mute. See you guys on the other side. Throw, throw, Bye, throw. Buddy. That's what I want. I want seven types of command grabs. I never want you to feel safe. Grapplers are based, oh, man. <laughs> I, you and I have spoke on it off camera. <laughs> spoke about it off camera, but like this, like you. Both of our hearts are in Street Fighter Six oh, right now. One hundred percent. It's oh, been. There's so week. many grapplers. They all look so strong. I'm so. T Hawk is back. I would love oh. Zangi, but T Hawk is back. T Hawk um, is back. Everyone is like this character is annoying and a problem, and that's all I want to be in that game. So I am. I'm, I'm very stoked, <laughs> brother. I'm like, my heart's torn in a million places because like, going into this week, it's like I'm probably gonna play Maritza, and if Geef is busted, I'll pick him up. But like, I saw that Manol footage and I'm like, oh. Dude, I'm gonna oh, pick no. up Geef with modern controls, one button 720s, and I'm just gonna- Oh, do you, <laughs> we were talking about that. Cause like, especially just looking at uh, both Ryu and Luke from the beta, or not from mm -hmm. the beta, from the demo. Like, mo like it's gonna be, it's gonna be like uh, CBS, like the CBS tier list that had the grooves on them. Uh, like you're gonna yeah. see like 
Because, like, just looking at it, um, I checked out that Diaphone video, but, like, Easy Input Luke is way, is, like, a way better character than Easy Input Ryu. Oh, yeah. I think it's going to be matchup uh, dependent as well yeah. for a lot of characters. But we got another grappler in front of us right now. We do. My girl. All right. So what is this matchup like for Lydia? Um, So it's a weird matchup. I... Tega and I will argue for years about who does or who doesn't uh, do well in this matchup, but I think the big thing is Ladiva has really interesting callouts and better options against uh, against something like Turbulence because you can air throw it, you can yeah. SPB it for options. Like she just has a couple of better options, and like the big thing is that. Lance doesn't do enough damage to where it, it's kind of in a situation of like Ladiva hits like a truck and Lance does not. And like for Lance, Lance has to get like five hits on Ladiva to win, but you're still like playing at point blank range with Ladiva. I, I personally like this matchup. Um, I routinely kind of played it, but there's like Jukum is the only one I won't play. Cause that boy, that boy got he that cooks. movement. Yeah. Speaking of movement, shades of movement here. Oh wow, big counter hit. Let's go. Yeah, finding the knockdown, Linux. Curious. Uh, unfortunately, gets the drop. Doesn't get the setup for the fireball there. And now, in a tricky situation, but finds the turbulence into the flow, and now has control of the round of the round again. And trying to bait something. Oh, nice mash out. Yeah, finds a hit, goes for the option. Nice there. spot, dodge oh, punish. Re yeah, reacts to it. Is it reactable or is it like after? Is it frame zero? Like it is. It is frame zero. Frame zero. Okay. Yeah, because it's it's uh it's invincible. Like it's a fully invincible super too, so you can do some funny stuff with it. But that's a natural combo, and I think Jan was just wanting to kind of eke out a little bit of damage. But now going for the corner loops, slowly pressuring. Oh, baits out or smells out the rush. Unfortunately, doesn't come down with the right button. But great stagger. Man, yeah, Jan back into the back in control. But Linux finding his buttons. So one thing um, I'm I'm surprised we haven't seen is after the second hit of Lariat, Ladiva can actually go for. Uh, oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! I can't. Oh uh, man! I forget how much damage the EX version does. It's God th it, damn! It's thir it is thirty percent, man. Like it's so nasty. You don't see it that often. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. Yeah, it's funny. Like I love. I will close out rounds with EX and SPD all the time, but like I hate not having SPD. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Oh, nice oh Jan, going for the Larry. Unfortunately, catches strays, but doesn't matter. Finding a good hit. Oh, goes that for the ambiguous. Let's go. Yeah, it goes for the uh, ambiguous side switch there. Now getting hit. Oh, gets hit by the raw gorilla blade. Unfortunately, Linux not converting. Jan finding the jump medium kick. Now putting Linux in the set play. Oh, spot dodge a little bit early. That was a good delay from Linux. Yeah, I think. Uh, Oh, doesn't even go for the cheeky punish. Spot dodges and immediately mashes on it. Jan closing it out. So one thing I think that we've seen Jan make really good usage of here is like really funky jump ins and especially using Ladiva, like the weird angle of Ladiva jump M to get uh, to get in on Linux, especially like when we saw the fireball. Yeah, it's something that we don't generally see when we have Ladiva's on stream, to be honest. Um, his setups are vastly different than I feel like the majority of Ladiva's we see. Yeah, well, that's the thing about Jan is like he's been he's been playing grapplers longer than some of us have been alive, <laughs> and at this point, you know, he's just he's willing to play extremely slow until he just run in SPs. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice fallen button. Oh, the oh, cross-up, you're dead. It. No. 
Oh, doesn't no. get to confirm. It just walks up and SPDs. Jan, just closing wanted, it out. Too wanted low. to send a message. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Oh, that was super cringe. Uh. <laughs> Dang, you're just catching strays all day. I beat you up before bracket. Uh, you had to play Yoshi FGC. Now you had to play Jan. Yeah. We're just like, we don't want you to smile or have fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it's uh, the, 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 the classic uh, Lativa experience. Well, you do. got a, a loser's match coming up. Oh, no. Do I have to... uh, let's see. Let's uh, let's peep this. Who am I? Oh, I can play Ramsar. All right. Oh, my God. And I just have to play right through. It looks like. OK, uh, I'm going to I'm going to be back. Go I guess. for it. Go for it. Um, Knock him dead, buddy. While we do that, I am going to shield the match Reno very quickly. Um, we got 34 codes left. Um, a bunch more people than that watching at the moment. I can't see the exact number because my mic stands in the way, but I believe. Um, so, yeah, if you haven't already, please click the link in chat. It'll take you to this page. And claim the code. It puts 25 free cents into the pot. We also have a bunch of sponsor requests you can see on the right-hand side. Um, all of these just put more free money into the chat. We also have at the bottom uh, masher tees, masher hoodies. All of those add money to the pot and help pay these gamers out. We have stretch goals at 150. Top four gets paid out. 320. Top six, 660. Top eight. Um, yeah, uh, I Grand Blue is like really. No, I was go ahead. Say, Grand Blue is really consistent about getting that top four payout. Oh, we absolutely. Yeah, we see it just about every week and. You know, for our beginner bracket this week, we we started the match with top six paid up. So yeah, I would I would love to see some of that love carry over to the uh, the open brackets. <laughs> yeah, which as a reminder for those of you who don't know, the Grand Blue beginner brackets have been sunset. Um, we will be having one y'all are more. Too good. Yeah, y'all. What it boils down to. Well, that's that's why we got to rebrand it as the intermediate bracket. I don't even think intermediate. People are too good. Bro, I we should just do the TNS thing and do the 0 and 2 bracket. I actually I actually want to do that. I just gotta find a few more people to uh, to help out. Get the uh get something like O2 or like run yeah. CLG ladder style, something like that. Yeah. I actually I have some ideas for that. I can but we'll talk about that later. Right now we're gonna see last week's winner and the week before that, and the week before that. Versus SSK. Axon's been uh he's been cleaning house recently. Yeah, made third at or wait, was it? I believe it was. I'm just I I want to get this man's frosty frostings uh placing right. So bear with me. Yeah, it was third at frosty faustings. One crossover though. Let's go. Um. Okay. Yeah, he was telling me about his uh third place offline curse and then one crossover and has been winning uh these brackets online you guys are good to start absolutely percival versus Metera. So this matchup's interesting. Traditionally, it is seen as bad for Percy because he can't get his stock ups that he needs to kind of have some of his combo routing. Mm -hmm. But with the changes that came with the rush and backshift patch, Percy now has a lot of options that give him the ability to kind of get some of those conversions he was lacking through rush, which does kind of shift some of the heat off of this matchup. Yeah. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. Yeah. Yeah. Slow start. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Straight into the book. I was going to say, slow start, and then we see the immediate to you. SSK, kind of in a bad situation early. He goes ahead and just risks the damage for the stock, and now finding the hit gets the knockdown on Action Star. And Axe is going to take a knockdown of his own, though, get a butterfly out. Yeah, SSK choosing to forego Oki for stocks. Doesn't have the command dash right now, so kind of just has to wait and pop, 
pulled through it, access pressure for an opportunity, but unfortunately, stuck in a bad position, has yeah. to block all of this correction, Chipped and even out. then gets hit with the chip out. Yeah, I... That's one of the very few times I've seen Zephyr use that offensively. Matera covered the entire screen in, like... Yeah, this character got that second shoot. Well. Yeah. Like, she moves. It is not, like... I think with 50 meter, it is not uncommon to see this character go corner to corner. On the tie. We're gonna get the knockdown. Butterflies, I think, will come up. And one of the things that it, that we've seen throughout this match is Axis are largely just kind of taking the pace away from SSK. We've seen that SSK really kind of uh, really kind of prefers that stalker position. He likes to be at a specific portion or a specific place on screen where he can hit you and get mm -hmm. his knockdown and then rush you to the corner. And Axis Star has not been giving him that space to breathe, and I think that's just put him on his back too many times. Yeah. Yeah, taking a second. I'd absolutely take a second there. Axe Star was just ready for everything. We even saw the callouts on like the fireballs. Just like, yeah. If I'm SSK, I'm taking a deep breath. I'm uh, collecting myself, thinking about what I could do different. I'm gonna go to the room. We couldn't see a character swap here, right? I don't know who else SSK plays. I'm Which trying to think about it too. Kind of makes me feel bad because I am his dad, but uh, <laughs> you know, like it. It's been a minute. Percival. Okay, so on the SSK, yeah, yeah, maybe just a color. Taking, pro maybe a color swap. I think just taking the extended break to, you know. Take a breather, figure out what went wrong, try to go back in strong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Letting the intros play out. Give them the, I'm giving them the field of breath here. Like, we don't have anything as good as the cell intro, but... True. You know, that Dragon good. Ball but, is peak with their like custom intros between the characters. Yeah, that stuff's super good. I miss it from like older fighting games. Yeah. But back on point, SSK finding a little, finding his footing a little bit more this time, playing a bit more nice aggressive. Nice air juggle all the way to the corner. Uh, that's a bad position to be in, but SSK playing. Plus frames. Oh, goes for the. Let's go. Plus enough there, SSK. SSK finding more hits with his aggression, chooses to forego Oki to grab the stocks, and now, in a good position, Axis Star has to guess correctly at this point. So the next hit from SSK is so Yeah, but... but burning all of his resources to get out. SSK having to, having to play in Axis pressure, and this is what we've seen every time. If I'm SSK, take a step back, yeah. wait for him to approach you. Building meter, but it's not going to be enough to kill. Ooh, from down Doesn't to matter, down. SSK letting that thing rip. Right, I think that's pretty much what he has to do. Just like stick to Axe and like glue early on. Yeah, you got to turn it back on him. Don't let him run. Don't let him play at his pace. Just get in there and swing. Oh, I was oh, just saying we DP. haven't really seen DPs and then it gets baited. Oh my God. SSK getting hit with the funky setup. Axe and Star swinging right back. Not a perfect, but damn near close enough. SSK go swing. I think the aggression play from SSK is being a little bit less controlled than he wants it to be. Um, immediately starting off with a round star command dash in the overhead. It's like that's not some that's something you do either when you make a statement or when you're just swinging. And unfortunately, I think we're in the latter. Yeah, I mean, Axon's just doing a very, very good job as well of just filling the screen with stuff. So anything SSK hits to try and like punish or mash out with just gets stuffed. Yeah, and that's the thing that what we said about the first game is Axon Star just not letting SSK breathe, making it hard to really find a good way out. And mm -hmm. that's one of the things we see, especially about Axon Star's movement. Even when he goes to move back or when he tries to like get a little bit of space, he'll usually throw something out just to make sure like if he thinks you're going to try to chase him down, that back EX uh, TK arrow is coming out and 
we saw a catch SSK there, got the knockdown, put him in a situation where he had to block, and he did not. Yeah. I mean, it is also hard to block at <laughs> star in the in the corner. Oh, Anywhere, yeah. <laughs> but in the corner especially, you're just like, dude, this uh, this Mkhitaryan champion's got some mix-ups. <laughs> she does. She's got she's offline good, net play good, like. She's a solid own. character. Yeah. Truly, Rising will free us from all of this, except they probably won't. I never think... have hope, kids. <laughs> Just because it worked out <laughs> one time <laughs> it doesn't mean it'll happen again. Oh, man. That's true. That's true, though. Let me take a quick look at the bracket, though, overall, while we wait for both gamers yeah. to get in here. I think we got some of top eight. Okay, so we have a good portion of winners top eight settled. We have Axe and Star versus Wavy, and then Have a Nice Day is going to play the winner of the current set we're going to watch, Zerom versus Jan. Um, on loser's side, people are making uh, the runs right now. We have uh, Prada Bro, versus Sin. Like that. <laughs> what? We have people making the runs right now. <laughs> I hate you so much. I hate you so much. Oh, that was so good, man. <laughs> Wait. I actually think it is impossible for us to have three Materos today. Oh, I think you're right. It is. The most we can have is two. Well. So Lennox versus Sol Raba. The winner of that will play Senpai Spider for a spot in top eight on loser's side. Um, Nekotech versus Mina. That's a Matera mirror happening right now. The winner of that plays SSK um, for a spot in top eight. No, we could still have three, potentially. Never mind. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. We could we could have three. But we'll oh, cross man. that bridge when we get to it. Dude, the Materos are too strong, man. We got to have an all Matero first to one bracket. That's what we got to have. But I'm actually very excited to see this. I don't get to see a lot of Ladivas in general. And getting to see uh, Ladiva Charlotta is kind of a, kind of a rarity for me. Yeah, I'm really curious to see exactly how this is going to go, because, like, I, I, I'm not afraid to say Jan is better than me, like, <laughs> by a lot, by a country mile. Like, he is a better player than I, and I, I still think he's better than me in this game. <laughs> so I want to see that against Zerom, because I think just in general, this is also, like, a pretty interesting, like, styles clash with these two. Exactly. Zerom is hyper aggressive, whereas Jan is, like... Extremely patient until he's not. Mm -hmm. Oh but my god! Oh my god! Patience nowhere to be found right now. Oh my god! Scoop him again. Second SPD. Oh, oh my god! Do it again. Do it again, please. Dan finding the hit early has Zeron just in a bad Cross position, up. but gets the hit. Is Goes this? For the no, it doesn't two, quite three, go. Yeah. Goes for the setup. Finds the hit. Zeron, why are you jumping? Dude, looking like Slayer 6B right there. God damn. Zeron, kind of swinging back here. Seeing a little bit of aggression. But Jan two. finds the 2 3 6 M, gets the combo off of it. Now takes Zeron more or less off screen. Oh, baits the DP. Jan not having any of it, putting Zeron in a bad place. Yeah. Not Another rough thing, too, is, like, Jan plays this character as well, so he knows not only how to fight Charlotta, he knows, like, how to play this character, mm -hmm. so it's a rough situation for Zeron to be in. Yeah, Zeron hasn't managed to get his footing at all this game. This is, but, like, the first time we've seen him run pressure. And this is the thing, too, is, like, traditionally, Ladiva has always performed really well in this matchup. Um... And that I think that differential has changed, especially with some of the recent patches. Um, mm -hmm. The Charlotta 2M for RM change was a big one that kind of changed some of it. But I still think, like, at worst, this matchup is And, you know, Jan yeah. was just right every time. No. 
Zeram on the offensive. Jen making really good use of the space to 236L to kind of just pick at Zeram without losing access to 236H to start pressure later on. But good back shift on the 2148, or sorry, oh. the 214 amp. Jan starting the leaping pressure. Right under it. Unfortunately. Dispatches. Yeah, no, <laughs> that's what she is dead, dead. Oh, yeah. Damn. Yo. I'm just gonna say Jan. this now. I hope Jan enters these every week. I'm having a blast right now. Dude, I'm <laughs> I'm gonna keep it a bug. If Jan starts entering, I might start playing again. I <laughs> There's like that golden age where like every Ronin Rumble ended with like two Ladivas, so <laughs> I'll bring that hater ass energy back. <laughs> nice slow walk up. Zero, I'm taking the slower game this time. I think realizing that every single time he made a mistake and got in Jan's face, it went badly. Yeah, absolutely. We're seeing Jan jump a lot. Is that to bait the Charlotta balls? Yeah, largely just kind of... The Diva can also technically contest Charlotta Demon Flip range too. So doing it, throwing out like a lot of... Uh, a lot of preemptive jump uh, jump use and jump H's just to kind of like ah, control okay. options and mess around with some of her spacings is pretty decent. Jan taking the slow route, unfortunately, like really close to chip situation here, but finds a hit. Oh, the clash. Yeah, okay. Zeram ready for it. Finds the hit and closes it out. Fought, putting his first round on the board. Yeah, signs of life. Starting to take a little bit more of an aggressive approach on Jan. I think Zeram's finally starting to cue in on like the best ways to start pressure and like try to keep Jan on the back burner. Because every single time that Zeram like let Jan have the driver's seat, it was over. Yeah. Zeram is kind of an adaptation monster, to be frank as well. He is uh, very, very good at adjusting to opponents, and we're seeing that now. And to give Zeram credit too, he is very he's very trained in this matchup. Mm -hmm. Um Played a lot of sets against me and Bracket. Trained with Max Sama a lot. Like, you know, this was once a bad matchup, and now that it's even, if there's someone who knows how to play it perfect, it is Zeron. Ah, uh, goes for the, two, the 6 2 3 M. Unfortunately, doesn't find a grab. Now having to play, deal with Zeron's pressure. Ooh! Rare footage of a Charlotta anti-air hitting Jan in a bad place. Oh. Not dead, but uh, definitely bleeding. Oh. Smells it out, unfortunately. Doesn't get the follow-up on it. Jan has nice to make it back. In a bad position. Yeah, it's Zeron true. taking three rounds right back. Oh, into the command grab. Not quite close enough to get the full corner combo. Command grab again! Yeah, Zeram um, kind of starting to let the funny... Yeah, Zeram um, letting the funny stuff rock now. Smells blood in the water. Yeah, dead. Oh, Lord. That was unfortunate. You hate to... You hate to see people stand up against Charlotta. It's hard not to, though, right? <laughs> like, sometimes you're just there and you're like, he's not going to do it again. He's not going to do it again. And well, then, like, in uh, your brain, your brain is also conditioned to, like, I really don't want to take that overhead. Yeah, and that's true. Don't get me wrong. Like, everyone's going to tell you to take the overhead. But you're also giving Charlotta a hard knockdown when you do. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Um, chat, we've reached that point in the bracket where we take a five-minute break so that our commentators can use the restroom um oh thank god production everything yeah so uh we yeah, are gonna go I come back when the break starts you did you came back right when the break starts <laughs> so you got a second it's also gonna let losers catch up a little bit um we do have winner side of top eight set and i imagine by the time we're back um we'll have loser set as well but uh this is what winners is gonna is going to look like we're gonna kick it off with axe and star versus wavy 
And then uh, Have a Nice Day versus Zerom. Losers, I believe the matchups. So that top losers match will be either Senpai Spider or Lennox versus SSK or Necrotech. Uh, then on the bottom, it's going to be Jan versus Key to make it into top eight, and Prada versus Sin. Oh, man. I Prada versus Jan could be a banger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It could be. I think it could be a lot of fun. I think it could be as well. But um, I am going to shout out the Matrino very quickly, and then I'm going to put us on a quick five-minute break and run an ad just so that uh, our comms get a second to grab some water etc um we do have codes left we have 27 codes left and we have a bunch of stretch goals as well so please 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 click the link in chat it'll take you to this page you can click the button up in the right hand corner claim code 25 free cents into the pot um, i really do want to continue our trend of always hitting top four payout for all grambly brackets and we're over halfway there already so definitely claim the codes, do the sponsor quests, and if you're able to, please consider making a contribution. But All uh, forms are welcome. That's true. But on that note, I'm going to uh, put us on break, and we'll be back in five minutes. We'll catch you soon. All righty. Toodles. <laughs> Dude, I got to try the new Mountain Dew. If it's that good. Bro, it's... I'm not saying I have a bias because uh, Mountain Dew is the uh, like leading export of my people, but <laughs> I'm a little biased. Oh man, when is the last time? Speaking of bias, I am a little biased here. I'm I'm pulling for Wavy. Um, I I want to see Wavy do well. I always want to see Wavy. She do comes well. out to all my all the monthlies pretty much. I can't not uh I can't not pull for her. But I'm very excited to see this because I can't remember the last time we've seen them play, especially on stream in one of the brackets. But we are going to jump right into it. Lennox is currently fighting for his life to make it into top eight. So uh, I'm going to keep <laughs> subbing in at the moment. We just we muted Lennox's mic for him because yeah. he couldn't. He, uh, <laughs> he forgot. He couldn't, we couldn't trust him to take care of himself. But yeah, we're going to just go straight into top eight, winner's side. Wavy versus Axe and Star. I think this will be a banger. I'm curious who Wavy's going to play. Cause she's got a few characters. Cag, let's go. Oh. I feel like I'm Cags generally I'm... don't want to play this matchup. I, you know, I, I've i heard that as well. Hey, buddy. Believe in victory. She's back blown out. One, no. oh, let me uh, unmute Lennox. <laughs> oh, that just oh. All right. Yeah. 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 Just so in I dropped time. the super confirm to uh, to bring us to final game, final round, and I, I lost. So, anyway, GG sounds better. But still the goat. And now you have to commentate Matera. Oh, yeah. I'm here for it. It's being a here for it. Action star going corner to corner. Wow. Wavy. Ooh, got away with murder there. Matera didn't find the hit. Wavy going ahead and using the air teleport. Oh, not enough to kill either. All right. I'm surprised about that. Matera has low health, plus that was an OD. And even if that was the easy input, it still would have found damage. <laughs> the double spot dodge? I'm, I'm kind of tripping from that. <laughs> Tell her about herself. Oh, that was clean. All right. So yeah, I think I heard you guys talking about uh, how most um, tags don't want to play into this matchup, right? Yeah, yeah, we were saying that, and like the big thing is like Wavy. Like I've heard Wavy say like she wants to make it a point to where she performs well in this matchup. Like just as a point of pride. Yeah, and it, it makes sense. Sometimes you you get stuck in that position, you get counter picks or whatever. Like you still want another matchup. That's. Yeah, like sometimes, sometimes you just want to feel confident that, like when you go to your main against in a funky matchup, you're 
Like, when you go against, when you have to go with your main in a funky matchup, like you're confident you can do that. Yes, yeah, that's huge. Ooh, okay. Pressing, pressing close heavy, and uh, yeah, we got that. Way to delay the pressure. So uh, goes for the air to air. Unfortunately, Axis are ready for it and finds the hit first. But Wavy getting the come down JL using the tele using the teleport for the mix up. Now Chate with a chase down. Oh wow! I am very surprised that worked. Actually, I thought uh, Axis was getting a punish. This is enough. Yeah. Wavy right. finding the hit gets the rush into the hula hoop confirmed. Taking the first game, looking confident in it too. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'll be curious to see what the adjustment from Axis Star is. Um, if there is one consistent part of Axis Star that we've seen throughout the couple past couple months, is the adjustment game always super strong? Yeah, it's we don't see it often a lot where Axis Star is kind of even forced in a situation like outside of a dominant position. But yeah. when he does, he's really consistent about kind of working it back. But I'm excited to see just how Wavy handles that because like. The early start of that for of that first game was a little shaky, but as it played out, Wavy was just throwing option after option after option, it was consistently correct. Yeah, getting caught in the throw bait right there, um, and now you're gonna be stuck in the corner. Ooh, gets the stabilization too. Let's go. Oh, gets hit with the falling at, or with the empty jump to you. All right, so you gotta watch out for Chip right here. Those butterflies do a decent amount. Yeah, look at that. There's the low. All right, didn't even need it. Axon put a round up. Unfortunately, just in a bad position to be in. Even with, even if Wavy had blocked all that correctly, was in Chip range. Just not a good place to be. But speaking of a good place to be, he finds the hit with the five H and the spear. Now has the corner. Axon Star gonna have to guess. Oh wow, actually spot dodges the far M. But yeah, I can't find a spot to actually get out. Wavy still playing the lockdown game. Rush to get out of the corner though. Wavy extremely daring, just run right through the butterflies. That was so close to working too. That's the scary part about that. Absolutely, I think it was just a small uh, adjustment on the break there that would have fixed it. But Wavy still sitting pretty. From downtown, the rush. I was kind of worried that would whip for a hot second, but yeah, it didn't look like a great situation. Wavy starting to layer on the pressure. Still has one trap available. Axis Star having to block it out. And there it is. Finally gets caught. Up oh, back in the look I couldn't really tell. Um, and Wavy's on set point now. Yeah, taking a quick turnaround on this one too. This is one of the first times we've seen Axis really kind of get, really kind of run into someone who give it, who's giving him trouble. Yeah, true. Um, very impressive that Wavy's doing it with Kag, too. Yeah, there's the reset. But, okay, we know that situation, though. Let's go. Wavy going for the late anti here. Unfortunately, doesn't find anything, but still playing really strong. Finds the hit into the trap. Oh, goes for the funky <laughs> setup. Unfortunately, doesn't find the hit they need. That was too funny. Oh, my goodness. All right. Yeah, Axon on the verge to close this out right here. Throw tech, you still take damage, and just gets hit by the arrow. All right, we're going to game three. Absolutely. And so this is the thing. I think the big adjustment for Wavy is just to, like, wait to create a different opening. Because a lot of the, every single time that Wavy got the hit in the knockdown, we saw her just run this, like, run a really strong pressure game and make, you know, just make things run for the best. But once Axon Star really kind of just got control of it, it's the same as what we saw with SSK. Like once Axis Star really kind of takes that away from you, you have to just deal with it. But goes for the fancy punish on the OD. Unfortunately, he doesn't find it in time. Eats the raw flash kick for the trouble. Yeah. Hey, okay, with the chip damage, you gotta run out of throw now. Um, Finds the hit. Oh yeah. Should be able to carry most of the way to the corner. Yeah, ready with the anti air though. The old arrow shower coming down. Um, and now it's set point for Axon Star. Uh, finds the jump in, unfortunately. Capitalizes on it just a little bit too late, but Axon Star gets blown back, finds the 2U, now has control with butterflies. Yeah, Wavy's got to play it a little patient here, stuck in the corner. Axon at that good range, and yeah, so good at finding those rush confirms off that far light. Um, man, we see that every week from Axon. Yeah, and that's the thing that I think, you know, we talked about how every single one of the Matera players kind of has their own style. 
Axisar is this hyper aggressive rushdown play with her. We see him just once he gets that hit and gets the knockdown in, it is so difficult to get him off. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so many layers of the offense, um, even, even against play. Oh, no, oh, no. Hit. oh, oh no! He turn around, trying to get in position to push back into the remaining trap on screen. Uh, yeah, still got to worry about both of them. I'm wondering. Yeah, I was going to say Aerostorm enough to close both of those out. Yeah, and there it is. Okay. Yeah, All I think right. unfortunately Wavy may have gone for a wake up super there and just didn't find it. He got hit. Axe and Star turning it around after a vicious game one. Yeah, that was crazy. Uh, also, shout out to Zero in chat. No, no what, what, what was it? Oh, yeah. None of these players block. <laughs> oh, I love it. I'm here I for mean, it. I mean, less blocking. To... Listen, like, if your opponent never plays, you never have to block. I'd yeah. say that that's a not. I'd say that I that that is a very <laughs> non-blocking style. True. I, I just want to. I just want to appreciate Imp's uh, visceral reaction to that statement. It's true, oh, dude. You mi you missed it. I got him real bad right before we went to break. Oh, I'm disappointed. <laughs> I missed that. Oh well. You were you were preoccupied. Uh, yeah, that's true. I was a little preoccupied. Um, Man, I'm still I'm still tripping from that set, but whatever. It uh, it is what it is. And sorry, how many beers deep are you? Me? Yeah. None. I got I got work early tomorrow. No. I'll yeah. Say, uh, that might be my problem. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who we got next? Where's this Have bracket? Have a nice at? day versus Zerom. That's who we got. Next. Interesting. So I'm curious to see kind of what Zerom's adjustment here is because. Both of them play Beelzebub. Uh, Zeram is pretty adamant that Charlotta does really well against Six. So I'm just kind of curious to see just like what the back and forth between both of these characters is. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I believe Have a Nice Day has a secondary that they break out every once in a while. I'd it's be curious to see is it Lyle? On six that we normally oh, see. Six. That's yeah. right. Oh, you just said that. I'm sorry. Oh, goodness. Um, while we're yeah, getting, uh, let's say while we're uh, getting set up, um, we have three of our four uh, bottom, bo three of our four bottom bracket players. Um, on one side, we will have Senpai Spider and Professor Necotech, and on the other, we will have Jan versus the winner of Miss Nameless, who is Prada and Sin. Believe in victory. But on the focusing on the, focusing on the match in front of us. Have a nice day picking the bubs for this one. Yeah, I feel like that. That kind of makes sense. Um, you got to respect Zero on this an opponent, so break out the main. Let's see. Let's see the real fight. I think. Sh I think that. Yeah. I think that the Elspeth is the better choice for this, realistically. Yeah, I have to agree with you. <laughs> All right. Well, Harry doesn't get the full animation, but hey, you know what? We maintain the space. Gets the throw bait. Too. <laughs> Not enough kill, but media overdrive setup is still a very strong, strong option. Have a nice day. Not out just yet. Finds the back throw into the corner now. Surprised he was able to get away with that karma. Zeron probably just not even wanting to interact and willing just to kind of take it there, especially with the life lead and the resource lead. Yeah, there's ways to deal with karma, but I feel like some of them are a little volatile, where if your timing's off a little bit, you get blown up, so I get that. Yeah, especially in a net play environment, sometimes you just... Yeah. Sometimes you just hold some stuff you shouldn't because it'd be like that. Yeah, it'd be like that. You're talking to the Lancelot player. I know that is <laughs> my whole game plan. Uh, uh, relies heavily on him. In fact, uh, so really. but have a nice day getting the corner confirmed. Now going for the setup. There, I'm having to play careful. Oh, wow. All right, raw X projectile catching out there. Good use of the delayed medium jump kick on the jump back there. T trying to control the screen space really well and just keep Charlotta exactly where she is. Have a nice day playing this really well. That should do it right there. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah basically the perfect. Doesn't even need the charge. Have a nice day. Very different round two. Yeah, that was pretty dominant. Uh, I kind of expect how that's, this set's going to go, though. We're going to see a lot of back and forth. That had to have been a misinput, but it looked like the light version, so... Yeah, not unfortunate not there, but I still do really like the usage of Dive Kick to kind of just mess with Zeron's timing. 
Oh, yeah. gets, the put, gets the hit on there, uses the shimmies there. I'm in a bad position. Wow, max range confirm off that, too. Oh, dive kick to get back in. Yeah, you gotta hold this. We oh, goes for the 2H, unfortunately. Gets stuffed. Yeah, there's the DP. Okay. Yeah, we haven't really seen a lot of DPs from Zerom yet, um, which, have a nice day. with the Good job of playing the space. Yeah, I, yeah, there it is. Gets the spot dodge punish and have a nice day. He's going to take that first game. Yeah, have a nice day. Making some really good adjustments in the last two rounds and really just kind of hard calling out some of Zerom's habits. We saw a lot of his options in his setups that were specifically designed to kind of not interact with the way that Zerom traditionally runs his offense and just made really good use of it. We, Uh, yeah, it, it's those like far and checks I think that are really important in this matchup. Um, you you, you want to make sure you're keeping Siram honest. Uh, Siram's one of those players you give them an inch, they take a mile. Yeah, absolutely. And once that mile starts, they keep running with it until you stop them or they win. Yeah, and yep, this day is doing a pretty good job of shutting down the pace, though. Oh my goodness, I don't know if this is a connection thing or if we're just seeing a lot of this here have a nice day, but there's no way those DPs are intentional. Yeah, unfortunate, and it's. Part of it too is just the way that Rumbleverse is really kind of interprets their input burst, the input buffer. It's yeah, it's so funky. Like I, I've been messing around, like learning, uh, learning stick again, just in case uh, Capcom bans hitbox. Smart, yeah, smart, smart. And like I can do SPDs re like perfectly fine in Street Fighter, and like yeah. even Street Fighter Four. But like when I play them in here, it's just I can't get them consistent to save my life. Yeah, it's definitely harder. Um, but I play first while I do like half circles with all my fireballs. It's bad. Well, that's the uh, that's specifically like what that info buffer change was. Yeah. All right, so have a nice day. Still sit on set point right here. Neither player is really eating a lot of hits. Yeah, Zero finds a big one though. Not a ton of damage, but gets the side switch. Have a nice day. Spending the meter to not even really deal with the situation there. I really like the decision making on that, especially because like Bub's builds pretty meter pretty well, and we're so early in the set that like. It's completely, like, I think we're going to see, like, especially if Have a Nice Day kind of takes the momentum here, easily set up for the 100, uh, 100 meter. Yeah, we can still see OD for sure. Oh, uh, spends another 50 meter, but I'm totally fine with that. Get things to be the carry here. But Zero, I'm just demon flipping right out of there. All right. Yeah, finds the hit. This is, a, or no. Not quite enough. Yeah, I thought that was enough. Oh, punish? Yeah, there it is. There, um, this is what we saw with the set with Jan. Have a nice day going up to going up to tournament point. Now Zero, I'm starting to fight back. Yeah, you can never count Zero out of this. Oh, try to poke out with Demon Flip again. All right, wrong spot. Dive kick and smoked. And now you're stuck back in the corner. This is where Charlotta really struggles. That mid range oh, pressure. The ball clashes with the dive kick. Unfortunate. Zero, I'm now taking the lead. Finds the hit. And takes basically corner to corner. Especially with that knockdown, Oki. There's that throw setup. Go through. Ooh, not enough to uh, call out. Yeah, I was going to say DP through Karma. Let's go. Yeah, Zara, I'm not wanting to have a repeat of the last game where that Karma really set off just the end of the end for him. Yeah, for sure. Especially not when Have a Nice Day is on set point right now. Yeah, block and meter build. Have a nice day. Closing really closing in on that 100 meter. Chooses to block the clash there. Really good. We saw Zeron win it earlier, and I can understand Have a nice day not wanting to interact, especially with their life right now. Yeah, not worth the risk for sure. Oh, now this is throw range for Have a nice day. Bates the overdrive, and that should do it. Zeron bringing us to final game. All right. There it is. Yeah, so, I don't know. Really, especially that last round, it feels like Zeron uh, figured something out with uh, either the habits or. Uh, have a nice day's defensive tendencies. Yeah, that's one thing we're seeing there is that Zerom's minor counter adaptations let him get into a situation where he could run his offense more. But we're seeing it there in the corner. He's so willing just to disrespect, like, throw pressure to get out and then immediately run his own. Yeah, Zerom's <laughs> very good at just uh, taking your good positioning and turning that into his good positioning. It's nope. very frustrating. I mean, Northeast holds Northeast. That man does not want to sit in that. That man did not pay $60 to sit there and block. True, brother, true. Or, shoot, sorry. All right. Have a nice. Oh, no, back shifted right out of there. Yeah, you got to hold that EX pressure again. 
have a really good decision to take this kind of the mid screen. Doesn't want to deal with a corner and have an accidental switch up that could be lost in the round. Oh, uh, finds the hit coming down. Unfortunately, the far end doesn't connect. <laughs> Jumping. Oh, I can't believe that worked. Oh, I thought kill either. Yeah, you gotta guess now. Back throw. That nice tag gets the back throw. Going a set point again. That's so stressful. Oh my goodness. I when I saw the super flash, I'm like, have a nice game. He's got to read. I was ready for it. And it didn't matter. Right. Have a nice day. Getting this water control. Just Zeram casually walking up and getting the throw. Now has the advantage, taking us to mid screen. Yeah, gotta hold this pressure again. Demon flip, just going for the plus frames. Not, not really over committing yet. Yeah, there it know, is. is. Have yeah, a nice day, the DP. Now has the heavy knockdown. Goes for the safe jump setup. Ooh. Unfortunately, small drop there from the uh, series of lights, but have a nice day. Still sitting pretty. Has every cooldown he needs to close this out, but has to be careful. Zeron finding a good hit could put him in the corner and put him at risk of, set, of demon flip setups. Yeah, and if you're having a nice day, I was going to no say OD you got to watch on, the hits. No more OD meter on deck. Have a not a good position. And Serum just built 100 meters, so we got a chance. Yeah, you got to. There's the throw. Not even trying to bait overdrive. Interesting. Uh, I have a nice day. Unfortunately, finding hits, but not enough to close out. Still going to another situation in the set. Wow, and there it is. Okay, rush down enough to catch the jump in. Interesting. Uh, yeah, yeah I, I think Zero was going for a good old Charlotta ball in, try to pop overdrive, um, try to get something fancy going, but how nice they was so ready for that. I think that's right here. Yeah, look at that. Like, you don't see Charlotta ball get stuffed very often, but that was just, that was, that was a clinic on why Bub's air buttons are something else. They're nice. Yeah. They're nice buttons. <laughs> Bob is a cool character, man. Like I've messed around with him so many times, and it just I net like him and Vera are the two that I'm always like, I'm just gonna play fight. I, I I just these characters are cool. I should learn them, and then I don't. Oh, uh, Bob speaks to my soul. That yeah, character, is, sick. He's, that character's so <laughs> nasty. Yeah. Um, yeah, we are sick. headed to loser side of top eight. I did want to call out that I think we got a few donations though, so yeah. I just wanted to. Uh, Shout those out, and then we'll uh, move on with the matches. Thank you, Sheep IRL, ten dollars. Rotary Lover as well with the four. It really does all add up. We're within spinning distance of top four payout now. Um, Fifty dollars away, so two thirds of the way there. Please, please, please. We have a ton of codes left. If you haven't claimed a code, just click the link, claim them. I'm not sure if Rowlett's still in chat, but she normally does a good job motivating people to uh, to use the codes. Bring up um, the ban hammer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it, it's really quick. It takes five seconds, yeah. and yeah, it adds up, especially when we're like within spitting distance of just getting more gamers paid out. So claim the codes, do the sponsor quests. If you're able to, consider making a donation. Um, maybe you just got a few extra dollars sitting in your Macherino you don't want to cash out. What better way to use it than to, to pay out some extra gamers? Yeah, always a good use of uh, extraneous funds, you know what I'm saying? True. Speaking of, Rally is showing up, letting everyone know she got that thing on her. You better clean your those codes out. <laughs> yeah, do it quick. Uno. All right. Oh, Senpai so, rocking sen the Uno. Let's go. Uh, yeah, I, he's, said, he's stated multiple times that he just doesn't want to play. Uh, he doesn't play the mirror. Yeah. He's played so. the mirror the last, like, four weeks. I, I think this is a Uno uh, yes. only run tonight. I, I that think would make this sense. is. Yeah, yeah, because Rock did, even even when I won a game, usually if that happens, if I switch to the Terra, but I stuck it out with Uno. Yeah, I think one of the things with, uh, for Senpai is I, his Matera is super well developed, and I don't yeah. think his Uno is like right at that same level, even if it is fairly strong. So I can understand like maybe wanting to just hone that stuff and like tournament, like tournament play. Yeah, and I think that's why we saw previously, like, Senpai, like, commit to going, okay, well, I'm going to have to play the mirror, because I think I think it was Nekotech, and, and I'm assuming Axisar was uh, just kind of throwing around the uh, the Uno last time they played. And yeah, case in point right here, Nekotech able to corral Senpai Spider in the corner, but Senpai just fighting their way out, burning some of these, uh, these EX moves, trying to stay plus. Yeah, leveraging plus frames, unfortunately, having to work his way in and not finding a whole lot of success. 
Nakotech really using some of the Matera movement and just general poking options to keep Senpai Spider out. And anytime that he gets that she gets him close within the range of the spear, Nakotech's just immediately out of there. Spot, yeah, doing a good job of spot dodging these beat drivers too. Um, definitely, a, definitely a critical component of this matchup. Oh, I part some sick part of me thought the butterflies were gonna catch there, but nah, nah, not quite. Nakotech is on such a big lead right now, though. Yeah, Senpai Spider are gonna have to like make some small adjustments, but unfortunately, minor drop there. But this could be the start of something. <laughs> uh, the start of the end of the round. The uh, Matera Super, absolutely. Yeah, um, that was a pretty dire situation for Senpai Spider to be. Even if he'd gotten the full confirm directly into an SSBA cash out, still wouldn't have been enough to make it. A, to make it. Yeah. I like the uh, the change of pace of the run up there. Um, definitely, because I was definitely not ready for it. And now, it. playing a lot more aggressive this round, really leveraging just plus frames in this corner to keep the Neko Tech locked down, but unfortunately, finds a hit for his troubles and now getting taken all the way back across the screen. Keep an eye out for um, the, the up back buttons from Andre. Um, I've seen Senpai using that a couple times tonight in lieu of like traditional anti airs, especially against characters that are stalls. Um, curious to see if Neko Tech has some uh, counterplay around that, but it doesn't matter. Gets the hit, catches out with another super. That's game one going to Neko Tech. Believe in victory. Yeah, Senpai mashing right back in, sticking with the pick regardless. Yeah. It, it, it's funny, this used to be like the student versus the teacher, but lately it's been pretty even. Uh, these these two have given us some very good sets the last couple times we've seen them play. Yeah, well, I mean, like, both these players enter every single event that they have this each week, so, like, yeah. watching their growth next to each other, it's documented. You can see both of them just play the way that they are, and, like, it's kind of wild. Yeah, I, I do really enjoy that. And Neko Tech holding all this pressure, finally finds a spot to rush out, but doesn't get the hit, so he can't really get as much off of it as they really need to. Senpai finding some hits now. Can probably cash out to close this out. Yeah, I think that's going to kill. Um, not not going to scale nearly hard enough, and now Senpai Spider finally puts around up on the board. Immediately going for the round start to use Senpai playing cheeky. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but that got scruffed. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it could have been a startup of like three different moves. Uno, for as much range as he has, his pokes do have a fair amount of startup compared to other characters. Yeah, for sure. Oh, so smart. Yeah, using the rush to get right through the beat driver. Not that time, though. And again, here we go. Finding the hits. And by Spider cooking. That's one thing I think that's really different in this game compared to the previous one is Senpai is just going in a lot harder. He's been leveraging a lot of Uno's more funnier cooldowns to just kind of set up plus frames and put Neko Tech in a situation where she has to block and like he'll usually save like one or two save like a cooldown to kind of pull himself back or to keep it while the others are there. But overall just like really good uh, corner management and pressure putting on Neko Tech. Tying it up now. Yeah, it's funny. Senpai Spider plays like a really solid slow game half the time, um, but when he decides to turn it on, that is that is just another piece entirely. And that's one of the things that I think really signifies kind of what take what goes from like a good to a great player yes. is you can be like you can have like a consistent layer zero gameplay and like you can have like something that people can sit there and say is like this is your style yeah. but being able to tempo switch and like adjust your style to the situation around you is such an important thing at higher level for fighting games essential i would i would go as far to say like you, you gotta be on point with that some of japan's finest like <laughs> yeah absolutely all right, spot dodging again. Neko's getting uh, some decent miles from these spot dodges. And yeah, calls out the parry with a throw. Okay. It's the throw attack. Unfortunately, eats a couple of strays, but Senpai Spider still has a lively. Finds the hit. Is it going to kill off this, but has everything he needs to close this out? Quick throw attack that time. That was a little scary. Oh, and now Neko checks. Try to chance. Yo! Not going to hit. Unfortunately, oh, Senpai Spider a little close, a little slow on the draw. Now he's going to have to find that hit on Neko the right way. Over there. 
I am sweating right now. Oh yeah, my both goodness. players play in the long game. Someone trying to find a hit. At some point, I'm I'm calling it now. At some point, I think Senpai is just going to swing. We've seen him get a lot of mileage off of every time he just commits. And I'd like to yeah. see just, especially with this time difference, you know, things are going to start running down. Look at the chip right here. I think Neko just took the life lead. Yeah, that's oh it. That's it. Wow, that was so smart. Neko Tech just layering on the chip damage until like I had, the literal last time. I half expected Senpai just to run up an SSBA because I think that would have put Neko Tech in like the same chip range. I uh, know Neko was in OD, so no chip. Oh right, you're right. Yeah. I'm out of my mind. Oh, it's, I, I had the same thought, and I had to like remind myself. <laughs> Senpai now finding the right range, getting the beat driver, and just keeping Neko Tech locked down. Oh, see, there it is again. That up back buttons. Oh goodness. Yeah, both these players are so slippery in the corner. If you lay off them for a split second, they will bust out. They're out, yeah, absolutely. Senpai using the routing, now tying Sick. it up. Last game, last round. This is the only way this could end. All right, it's a first to one. There's one round. We're starting right now. This, this is this is where the real game starts. Oh, yeah, we're seeing it. it oh, does it get the full confirm, though? Okay. Still, it's great positioning, though. Yeah, at this point, like, anytime Senpai Spider has the life lead and he's able to play that long range, just keep out of the game, that's obviously where he's more comfortable. But really good reaction there. Senpai ready for it, finds the hit, and now has Nekotech back in the corner. That's knowing the player matchup right there. That is Senpai Spider going, I know what you're going to do. We've played too much. Yeah, still, Sin Pretty finds the hit. No, this is so crushing for Nekotech. Still has a chance, but this is looking... Very good for Senpai right now. Yeah, absolutely. But that confirm was insane. Took Neko Tech from corner to corner. And now just needs a good hit to close this out. Unfortunately, Punish. commits to the parry. Oh, plus the overhead. Ready for it. There's the overdrive. No bait. You got to hold this. Force back a little bit. Senpai Spider gets a little breathing room. Yeah, Senpai has to be careful now, too. A really badly thrown beak driver will get blown up by SSBA. So has to play very precise. Yeah, so you can find a stray hit to get, like, get some of this overdrive time down. Oh, Senpai <laughs> found the anti-air, unfortunately didn't close it out, but doesn't matter. Gets the EX Beak Driver to beat the 5H. Senpai Spider going on to fight Zerom in Loser's Quarterfinals. I gotta clip that, that was... Oh my god, that, that, that might have been my favorite set of the night so far. Yeah, Senpai honestly kind of getting away with a lot here. We saw multiple big whiffs in Nekotech's face. No yeah. call out on it, but still manages to take this back to the long game. Senpai watches, finds the hit here. Unfortunately, isn't able to confirm into anything in it, but still in a great place. Nekotech commits to the cooldown and just gets smoked mm -hmm. for it. I can't overemphasize like how big that one hit is. Like the fact that sent by Spider like found the next one immediately almost doesn't matter. Um, it, it took that overdrive time down enough to where uh, Neko Tech couldn't just time the match out and worry about chip like um, like they did uh, that, yeah. uh, you know. Also, I don't know who made the donation, but we thank you very one? much. Yeah, we're up to 170. Oh, Battling right. Robot, thank you. Thank you very much, Battle and Brobot. That's tight. Also, Art is still boys, blazing. What's up? Uh, feeling like it's a little nice here. It's kind of nice. It was, I, I'm also feeling kind of nice right now. <laughs> um, I'm feeling a little, a little nice. Uh, oh, and we hit top four payout. Hey. hey! We hit top four payout, halfway to top six payout. We still have 21 codes left, though. So please claim them. Yeah, Please. oh my god, we have that many left? I wasn't even paying attention. Yeah, we have a ton of codes left today. I don't know why. Normally, we're breezing through them. But definitely, I feel like the last couple yeah. weeks, we've like hit top four payout before like even 25 are down. I, I feel like that's happened. Maybe that was Melty I'm thinking of. But like, No, I, I think you are correct. I also think a lot of people are in finals and stuff. So maybe some of the usual code claimers are... Uh, Oh, Leave God, you it is. oh, it's final season. Yeah, it is. Wild. Oh, God, it That's is. That's how time, I know we're it? old. Because <laughs> we all forgot, and I only got reminded when I hosted my live last Saturday when people were like, yeah, can't come because of uh, finals. Finals. Oh, Lord. <laughs> That's crazy. I had another really fun I'm old moment today, and I don't remember what it is. And maybe maybe that's my moment. It's not. Oh, dude, Zom <laughs> got me so bad today. A word? Where he, like, there's a tweet he put out that was like, 
the current generational divide between old boomers on the internet and zoomers on the internet is what does HSR stand for? Oh, I, I don't know that one, unfortunately. Homestar Runner and Honkai Star Rail. Oh, because of the new gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Okay. Anyways, anyways, like. <laughs> that took me longer than it should have, but whatever. Uh, Jan. Um, starting to block it off. Prada immediately opening up with the teleport setup. Curious. So, this is a match I was really curious to see. One of the yeah. things that, like, Prada does struggle a little bit in this matchup, but has been making a lot of changes recently to be better at it. But he's playing against what is definitely the best Ladiba player in the United States. So. Those changes are going to have to come quick, and they're going to have to come hard, or else he's going to get lit up. Yeah, this is... Uh, Jan's one of those players where... Oh, uh, Jan swinging a miss. Unfortunately, doesn't get punished for it. Prada now has the corner, though. All right, Spear to uh, hit Jan back into the trap. Yeah, that should... No, not quite enough. Was that supposed to be super? Yeah, I think that was a small drop there. Prada's going to have to be careful. Especially finds the hit. Uh, nope. Not quite enough. No, that was easy input, so no Oki there. Jan gets hit by the wake up to you into Ars Magna. Hit them with the Callisto. Let's go. Man, not even playing Catalina and using that tech. Lord in heaven. And this is one of the things that I think Prada really likes to do with his character is he really like he wants to put stuff on screen and then hit you with a funny cross up. And like that opens so many people up. Yeah, Prada, Prada's got a, like, a lot of funny knowledge check things mixed in with a lot of very real pressure to uh, Which I yeah, guess is kind of all Spear gets the knockdown. Now has the corner. Jan's going to have to play really careful. Traps are back up. Prada finds the hit. Going to go for the side switch. Unfortunately, no! Ars Magna misses. Oh! Jan gets the punish. Now Prada's in the vortex. Yeah, this is not a great spot to be in. So if, if Prada could just stay alive right here and get out, a solid chance. Uh, jumped, jumped, we're out, we're out. That's it, no punish. Okay, not a big enough. Prada ready for it this time, unfortunately. Jan reads the trap set, unfortunately, misses. Traps activate, and Prada going up 1-0, playing really well. Yeah, that was, that was cool. life forms to uh, seek survival. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. Uh, I really thought Lariat was going to uh, blow up the trap set there, but hey, shout I out think, to Prada. I think it was a split second. Yeah. Like, it was. it's one of those things that's just like, this is a frame that went wrong. But Jan swinging immediately with the 214L, clearing the traps with the 2M, now playing. Unfortunately, catches a far 5H back in the mix blender. Prada gets the side switch, now gets the full conversion. Ooh, all right. Oh, jumping right over. But yeah, Prada's 2-H game, very strong. And obviously, Ladiva does not have an air stall. Yeah, Ladiva does have really funky hitboxes and hurtboxes on her paranormals, but yeah. they're not enough to beat overcome that. Prada taking a quick round three. If you've if you played this game for any amount of time, you, you know the pain of getting hit by uh, Ladiva's disjoint and jumping buttons. Yeah, it's... You know, that's one of the things, like, grapple and normals are so funny. <laughs> so oh, true. no, what happened here? Uh, sometimes you larry it too hard, and you break grapple. Oh, no, no, no we're, we're chilling. We're chilling. A little bit of the improvised setup. Man, has the corner pressure. Finds the hit. Brought up. Mashes out. That was a great mash right there. Love the recognition. All right, sandwich setup back into the trap. You got the corner. It has to play it slow. Finds the call out larry it. Brought up. Jan not even trying to react to it, just going for the read, finds it, closes out the round. Sometimes you know, you know? If you know, now you know. If you know, you know. All right. So we got a chance. This is set point for Prada, don't Jan. forget. One thing we've seen from Jan right here is, like, been very aggressive with this round start option. We've seen the raw lariats, the raw super jump, jump H, just absolutely willing to kind of take a hard read from the start. I'm doing a better job of navigating the spears. Prado was getting a lot of mileage off that. Unfortunately, before. doesn't navigate the teleport. Gets hit in the trap. Doesn't take a whole lot of damage, but still not in a great place to be in, especially with all the resources that Prada has on deck. You can see Prada just defending that portal with the, the far heavy right there. We love to see it. 
And that's the thing, I said it earlier, Prada really likes being able just to kind of hit the funny side switch stuff with that trap. So it's not, like, of course he's going to leave something open. That's the thing keeping him from dying. <laughs> exactly. Oh, uh, we're still working on a perfect somehow uh, with 45 seconds remaining. Prada really about to hit that 45 second perfect and takes the second game. Prada going 2-0 over Jan. That was clean. That was clean. Oh my goodness. Uh, and we have, ooh, okay. Check out, check out Losers next round. We have El Clasico followed oh. up by what is probably not going to be, but what could be a Cagliostro mirror. Yeah, I'm curious to exactly to see just what we get here because whew. yeah, both players have secondaries that they have been known to break out in every single situation imaginable. So I don't know. Absolutely, we could uh, we could see it. But first, we're gonna have Zero versus Senpai Spider. Um, True, you know, death taxes. Senpai Spider fighting uh, Zero. Although I feel like Senpai is probably gonna be on uh, Uno, right? I, I kind of hope so. I So that's hard because I feel like that's not a great matchup for uh, for Uno. Um, Seth, I'd be curious as to your opinions on that. I feel like uh, Matera does a lot better. But this this could be this could be the Uno only run. I don't know. Charlotte versus Uno. There it is. Okay. Yeah, we're uh, we're going to see it. Uno coming out. So what do you think? What do you think the play here for uh, for Seth by Spider is, Seth? Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. I don't know. Um, we'll see. Yeah. Playing playing the zoning game, I, I think is the way to go right here. But yeah, you gotta you gotta have a, an answer for that shot out of all. Absolutely. And I think uh, I think Uno has a lot of has options better than most. Like Far H does cover a lot of screen, and like even in the clash, Uno still can kind of react and play from there. But those long limbs also do kind of put him in a bad situation, as we saw with that demon flip. Tip yeah. of it got hit by the helm splitter, but now controlling the pace really well. Yeah, in overdrive too, so Zero um, A has to not block right now, because yeah, that's why if you get hit now. Um, but yeah, you can't even rely on chip. This is so bad. Yeah, that's that's checkmate right there. Absolutely. Senpai Spider taking a really good lead on that. Had the life lead, managed to keep him at, or keep uh, Zeram out. Excellent. Play. Yeah, it's these pokes right here. Senpai Spider to. Oh, okay. When Zero went to the clash interaction, though. This should go all the way to the corner. Yeah, yes. finds the hit, goes for the setup. Face the parry, doesn't find anything, but still gets the mash into the DX SPD. And or Zeram. Taking a much better round this go around, but Senpai Spider found the hit, now has the corner. Yes, you're um, wow, actually, oh, almost finds a way out with this counter poke by Senpai Spider. Even if uh, we're going to super, which I don't think we are, no. Yeah, I, I think it was, I don't know if that was a super or what happened there, but. Yeah, either way, it wouldn't have killed. Um, and now both players basically, oh, uh, no, never mind. Zeram's going to take that one, cash out with the SBA. Yeah, Senpai has been getting a lot of use out of that, but. Zeram probably spotted that and was ready for it. But, and that's one thing, like, Senpai's really good with his usage of that air, uh, of the air roll. Like, we've seen him use it both as, like, a shimmy option and as well as just kind of, like, a general way to mess with someone's timing on a jump in. Oh, why? Right. But the finds the Rakshasa. This is rough. Once again, Semi Spider almost working out a perfect. Zero has a long road to come back from. Yep, yeah. that's that's an answer right there. Clash cancel. Long road to come back from. He's finding him. Yeah, right. But gets two gets two balls in a row. Finds the low. Now Semi Spider has to guess. Uh, I thought I saw the activation for the counter OD, but Senpai <laughs> still sitting pretty. Yeah, for for a second I thought that was a defensive OD, not offensive, but. Here we are. Senpai Spider still has the life lead, so like not the end of the world. Keeps you up at arm's length. Has to be, has to be yeah. careful though. Senpai is bat. If Senpai doesn't space his speed driver as well, Zeram can easily call it out with the EX Blanc ball. But now doesn't have to worry about that. Goes for the anti air. Unfortunately, doesn't find it. But uses the back shift. Still has control. Ooh, I thought that was gonna get punished for a hot second. Spot dodge and just go right through. Charlotta yeah, just has no recovery on anything. <laughs> recovery is a myth. I mean, you should just anti-air her, but unfortunately that didn't happen, and 
I'm not, I'm saying that as like a joke. I'm not gonna sit here and act like that thing is not a pain to me. It's so bad, yeah. Ugh, you really gotta be looking for it, and that's typically when Zerom throws you three times in a row and you lose the game. Yeah, Zerom's really good at kind of leveraging the fear of strike throw so that he can jump at you more. Yeah, it's it's absurd, and I, I haven't played against a lot of players that do it quite like Zerom. So it's super hard to adjust to. I mean, this is kind of the archetype that Zerom plays. Played, uh, Played Mioko in Type Lumina, played May in Strive oh, for a little yeah. bit. Like, this man just wants to jump. The Tempest NYC archetype, yeah. He did, he did not pay $60 to stay on the ground. So true. Yeah, doing a better job of, like, holding on to, uh, not quite the life lead, but just maintaining these values. Making Set by Spider burn 100 meter for plus frames and getting the hit anyway. This is bad. No, never yeah, mind. Set Spider in a good position now. Burning plus, burning uh, cooldowns for plus frames, but in a bad position. Zerom has the aggression now. Senpai has to block this correctly. Oh, no. You're dead. Yeah, that's it. All right. And just like that, Zerom's on set point. Wow. Oof. Yeah, this is a very quick turnaround for Zeron. Well, like, and that's one thing we've seen Zeron make really good use of the 2 2 X Helm Splitter there to just kind of blow up Senpai's long range poking. We see it in other mat, or we see it in other matchups where Senpai's very much willing to use like far in and far L to get that counter there, and Zeron has just been lighting him up for it. Yeah, Zeron's gonna have to find something though in this round because this is all Senpai Spider. Oh, this is how it is. Like, this is how it's been, though. Every time that like we've seen Senpai Spider get insane life leads, the Zeron will whittle down. But did that just straight up whiff? I don't know. I, well, all right. I, I have ideas, but we'll we'll. Well, talk yeah. Well, someone yeah, clip that. We'll review that one later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's alert. That's a teachable lesson there. All right. So uh, what I think happened is Super whiff punished the Beak Driver because of the extended hitbox. The hitbox went away, and the second hit of Super whiffed, and uh, Senpai Spider was able to block it. I think that's what happened. I just yeah, clicked. I was, it. I'm about to. I'm about to. Yeah, let's. let's back. I was about to say, let's get that on. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Get that on replay here. I got you. I got you. Buzz Aram taking it 2-0. Now moving on to fight the winner of Wavy and Prada. Yes, um, that is 100% what happened. Oh which, my goodness. Let me show you this clip. I want to correct something we said earlier. Um, just for the future going, just for reference going forward, uh, Prada uses she, they, just so that way we're all on. Okay. Oh, my bad. All right. I, I missed no, the I, on that. No, I just found out on it during the break, so I just want to make sure that, one, we're being respectful, and two, yes. we're, all on, we're on the loop. Yeah, appreciate that for sure. Yeah. What? Oh, I'm getting so, shot by auto mod. Em. Yeah, you got shot by auto mod. It's reading the... I couldn't find the clip. <laughs> no, no, no. Held message for reason, race, ethnicity, or religion, but it's a Twitch clip. I'm so confused. Oh man, it's just it's just uh it's another <laughs> It's literally it's literally a clip from Twitch. They generated the URL. I don't understand. Seth Seth, you weren't here the night. Uh, I was like, hey Imp, can I post this link? And I kept getting shot and in in, in, the, in the it was really funny. So it was like, yeah, yeah, yeah post it. I'm gonna so allow I was, it. I had I'm already keep it on us like yeah, it was Imp, very can, Imp should never give me mod privileges because I'll just shoot everything you post on principle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, I, I would be disappointed if you didn't, in fact. <laughs> like, sorry, I know that our commentary team is like the cracker backers, but like, I will sell you out in a heartbeat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Me and my online Lancelot ways. I know, I know you have it out for me. I see your game. <laughs> Every tournament we're at, I'm like, I like, I drag you and I'm like, sit down. <laughs> sit down, we're playing. <laughs> I'm gonna show you, and like I, I understand, Boston. I understand my crimes. I'm willing to, I'm willing Boston to. Boston okay. internet will not save you from me, buddy. Oh, it's worse. It's main internet. <laughs> oh God, you are from that godless state. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Lord in heaven. Oh man, all right. <laughs> all right. Wavy man. playing Prada. And I'm no, very I'm... excited to see Prada break out the cat here. Oh, dude, I like Prada cat. It's so yeah. fun to watch. I'm surprised we're not seeing the mirror, but like. 
I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I don't hate playing the mirror myself, so. <laughs> right, yeah. Uh, like, I, some I, people I, are a little different and they just love it, but it looks like we're having a little bit of connection issues. Just bear with us tonight, guys. Yeah, might try to play it out. We'll see. Um, let's check the delay. I know there's been a couple spikes. Um, I saw some people talking about uh, server was messing up in some ways, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, hey, he's going to rejoin real quick. Oh, okay. Perfect. Perfect. See if that helps. Uh, I see your was just sorting through some connection issues. Uh, I think, yeah, get a restart, hopping right back in in a moment. Um, in the meantime, sometimes that helps. In the meantime, claim yeah. the Matcherino codes. Yeah, we that? still got 16 left. What's going on? We still got 16 left. Don't let that uh, top four payout get you complacent, guys. Like 16 codes, that is four dollars going into that pot. Uh, anything that helps our players out, we like to see everyone taken care of. These guys show up every week and dedicate two to three hours of their night to play for us and you know we want to make sure that they're rewarded aptly alongside that we also have sponsor quests um we have the very lucrative qr code one here that puts three dollars into the pool we have text now stuff from activate a couple of these are also just like simple one click things like they have you subscribe to a youtube or like a twitch clip or like a twitter post and that's just free money for our players on top of boundless other options yeah, it goes a long way, um, and every little bit does help. I mean, how many how many times have we had like nights where we just get like mad five dollar donations and we clear True. like top four or even top six? Makes a big deal. Yep. There's also teas and hoodies. Don't let the big number that goes to me fool you. That is because I have to pay to actually make the tea and the hoodie. So. <laughs> and as we found out on Monday, Imp uh, personally stitches all of this clothing himself by yes, hand. Yes, I, I yep. hand stitch it all. So the, the time sink is honestly extraordinary. I, I actually don't know how you do it with running brackets <laughs> four or five nights a week and doing offline. So just, uh, I don't know, respect, you know? It's nice to have hobbies. I'm yes. really happy for your seamstress business, Em. <laughs> True. <laughs> hobbies are always a uh, great way to stay sane, you know? Catalina. Oh. I'm like, there's like a deep part of me that's like, what if I streamed building Gunpla and then like, that's one of the hobbies I don't want people to see me doing because I'm just a gross, feral human. <laughs> that's a, when it's one of those personal hobbies. Also very important. Oh yeah. But Wavy starting off, getting the very hyper aggressive with the traps, finds the knockdown. Prada now stuck in the back, stuck on the back. Burner. She's gonna have to make some really decent adjustments, especially with the life damage that Wavy's put on deck. Uh, finds the hit, gets the knockdown. Wavy taking a quick perfect on the game one. Let's go, Wavy. That was clean. Very much so. So this is, yeah, you gotta be careful with that. Prada getting caught by the 2H with that full screen run up jump. Oh, this is the thing that I think is kind of different from watching both Wavy and Prada play. So when Wavy like starts her pressure, she's using the traps more so as just kind of like a way to uh, poke and prod at you with like the rock and with uh, with uh, different spear calls. Whereas yeah. Prada, when she lays down traps and everything, it's usually because she's wanting to go ahead and set up the funky side switch or just like get you with a bit of guard button mix so it's just a really interesting kind of clash of styles especially like we're seeing one person not play their main but yeah regardless oh, no. this has been a mauling wavy calls out the od gets the auto combo into the hula hoop taking the first game that was pretty clean all right are we gonna see a character switch yeah here it is all right all right if we don't right. see a character switch i just want to see a couple of minutes because like yeah you, I'm you not need, like need. that. That was not free, but no. that was not good. Yeah, sometimes you got to take a breather, reset the heart rate, remind yourself of the game plan, whatever you got to do. Personal, oh, going for personal. Interesting. Yeah, that is interesting. Um, so you know, Wavy, Wavy, no stranger to Percival though, has played this character through multiple events, played very well with it. Yeah. So. Yeah, we were talking about uh, Wavy's Percival earlier. Um, whoop, very, very clean. Uh, Prada rocking the dark skin and purple hair colors for both him and or for both Percy and Cat. Very nice. Oh! 
Okay, well, that's one way to do it. And side switch, proud of getting hit by uh, teleport shenanigans. Absolutely. But having to play a little bit slower and now leveraging per larger Percy buttons and good use of the command throw as the corner. I'm sorry, the command dash. This character's got too many command X. Yeah. Aha, the cheeky setup. I like it. Overdrive does connect, though. Oh, gets the hit. Unfortunately, no longer gets a really good combo after that. Prada leveraging it, though. Yeah, you can get something in the corner off that, but not mid screen. Which... He's made some really good adjustments this set, too. Willing to really make use of some of Percy's movement options to not deal with traps or just to kind of close in. Oh, there's another one right there. Going for the stab, but Wavy was ready. Yeah, Wavy got the life lead. Now playing the keep out game. She doesn't want to even deal with Percy buttons. Put the traps out, put the rocks up, get up with the speed. Yeah. And that's that's one of the things about this the, the, this switch from Catalina. Like, obviously, Percy's got those bigger buttons, but also feels a little slower, I feel like. Um, I don't know. With, with, with the command dash and whatnot, you got uh Oh, option. gets the pickup with the EXDP. Neglects Oki to get the stock picks up, pickups. Prada has a life now. It just, okay, back thrown. Oh, that had to have been a throw tag, right? Yeah, I think that was just accidentally some things went wrong, but it doesn't matter too much. Wavy super jumps and just leaves out of it. Percy Farm actually recovers in time to not get punished that much. That was no kidding. That is. Ah, yeah. uh, Grand Blue Handshake. Wavy finds the hit. Doesn't have the resources to close it out, but still. Oh, this is rough. This this is set point right here, and Prada is stuck back in the corner. Gets the rush confirm. Oh, no TP after, though. That's unfortunate. Prada can still make this count. Curious if they're going to go for the command throw or not. Just trying to play a patient. Needs to find one good hit. You could do it off. Yeah, there's the rush. Yeah, okay. Fit. Fishing for that. Unfortunately, corners herself. Prada not in a good position. Burns the command throw. Gets hit by the falling jump. You and Wavy taking it 2 0. Yeah, that's the downside about committing to that full screen stab. Massive recovery if it whiffs. You got to be real careful about that. We saw it right here. Prada managed to finally get screen control. Backed off just a little bit. Likely didn't have the cooldowns needed to close things out with Wavy, but starts poking with the far M, gets the rush, unfortunately doesn't find anything off it and corners herself on the rush, but goes for the command throw, or sorry, the command dash into the EX stab and just catches a falling you for her troubles. Yeah, good stuff for Prada tonight. Um, shout out for the run. Uh, unfortunately, it had to uh, end a little earlier than I'm sure uh, she wanted it to, but able to take down Jan in town, which is true. Yeah, no which like we, you know, I first off, I think I seated Jan just right. Second off, though, excellent run from Prada. Absolutely, like, yeah. that is I, that so, is definitely. Is this it was Prada's an upset? I could run? believe that. I don't think this is Prada's deepest run, but no, Pr Prada's got grants at minimum. I, I think Prada Prada's won at least once, right? I'm pretty sure Prada's. Won. I I think Prada's made it to grants, but sure. Prada, if you're in chat, give us the. Yeah, like, let Remember, us gas you up a little bit. There's been too many of these. Oh, Prada, Prada has not win once. I was I right. It. Okay. I got to put some respect on my girl's name. I'm so, I, I'm so <laughs> sorry. I'm messing up a lot of things tonight. <laughs> it's uh, all right. It's been, one, it's been one of those nights. Winner's finals. This has been our winner's finals a good bit recently. Axon and uh, yeah. Hava. And both players have done their fair share of winning, too, if I remember yeah. correctly. Yeah, this has been a pretty consistent back and forth. Um, is this one, are we going into best of five now? Yeah. Yes. So and winner's so. finals okay. is going to be uh, first to three. Then we'll go down to semis, first to two, and then everything will be first to three again. And there is a good shot that we might see have a nice day six here. Um, I... True. He's been playing six. Well, he played both last week. Okay. I. I he started with this six, week, though, so. and then... In the reset, he tried the bubs, but I do think oh. I do think you're right. I think we're gonna see the six. Um, yeah, for at least winners finals. Uh, I do want to call out the codes one more time because <laughs> we have a lot of them. Twelve left. Please use the codes. We got ninety something people watching right now. There's definitely at least twelve of you that have not claimed codes, so please, please, please claim them. Also, I just realized Panda and Rurik, thank you both for the tier one subs. Oh, let's Dang. go. 
Oh, that's good. All right, I think Axon just hopped into the room. You guys are good to start uh, the second you sit down at the cab. Absolutely. Getting a little choppy on my end, but I don't know how it is for you, Lennox. Well, we'll see what happens when we get in game. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting a little, uh, a little, uh, a little pixelation action going on, but it was way. You know, I was gonna say it's way better than it's been the last couple of weeks. So yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, I, haven't, I haven't felt like I needed to boot everything up. So yeah, I haven't cycled the Discord stream like four <laughs> times. Uh, so that's that's definitely a positive. Discord sometimes yeah, just take... does this though. So let me restart it, and you guys tell me if it's better. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely true. It do be. Uh, where is... Um, Alright, pop that back in. Whatever. Uh, a little bit still, but it'll it'll stabilize in a minute, I'm sure. I'm super not worried about it. We can still tell what's going on, so, you know. <laughs> it's the important part. How is starting with the six pick this time, we've seen him have really good successes with his character in the matchup, but has switched it up a little bit, especially kind of now that Axe and Star has become a lot more acclimated to the matchup, it's not as much as uh, it's it's evened up a lot between both of these teams. Matera Gang in general over the last year has done a really good job at uh, coming up with some like anti six tech. Um, I, I still remember the first time I saw Senpai Spider like hop over. Um, dive kick. I I thought I was going to have an aneurysm. Um, ugh, that was yeah. That all was throw, all of the materas are uh, really good at kind of just using that counterplay. Yeah. Like at first, I saw Cello using it at first, and then it just kind of caught on. It's yeah. It, it, it is something else. You know what's that ultra specific thing that you love to see uh, happen at a high level? Have a nice day, just oh no. We're Managing not. control the. Uh, Uses the super jump back and sixes uh, disjointed jump him and finds the manages to keep Axe and Star locked down. Now puts him exactly in the corner. That is, that is an interaction I see reserved almost exclusively for Melty Blood, and now it's at a grand blue. Yo, there it is. Yeah, the hop over the dive kick. Yo, Axe is so nice. <laughs> that is not but gets a single hit confirm on the light. Have it for Axe and Star managing to retake the set, but. Catches the counter hit 2-8-H and, and have a nice day. Able to close it out with the 2-M-2-3-6-H confirm. These two are so explosive. I always love watching them play. Yeah, jumping right out of that fireball setup. All right, have a nice day. Just trying to get anything going right now. Yeah, One thing so. I really like about how Hava controls this matchup is it feels a lot like he's using, uh, he uses a 2-1-4-H a lot as kind of just like a lockdown tool. And I think for Matera, that's a really smart option because limiting her movement and making sure she doesn't get to just run Havoc early on is super important in this matchup. Yeah, if you could put up a wall that Matera can't get around, it makes a huge difference. Ah, there it is. All right, counter poke 2M. At 6, uh, grounded 2 on 4 H is a really kind of tricky move to work around, especially if you're spacing it, right? Oh, for sure. I think I think that low crush is 2 at, uh, at some ranges, right? I'm not like sure. I'm not sure on that one. I think you hit. I think I I went for a low poke earlier when we were playing, and you smoked me with that. But I, I can't remember. Um, Hava is just going in right now. Frame traps, little dash pressure. That's a very interesting option from Axisar. Have a nice day. Just not even dealing with some of the rush and plus on block pressure here. Jumping back each time. Manages to have a good situation with the clash against the five U, and now has a life lead has full screen on the way from here, can just play reactively, and does such. Yeah, that's dead. Oh, all right. Uh, Axon is starting to, like, instead of, um, you know, when Have a Nice Day gives up their turn, instead of, like, just poking out, Axon is just putting out EX Butterflies instantly. And I'm, I'm curious to see if they can get a little adaptation going with that, because I love the idea, but Have a Nice Day is just navigating it too well. We've seen Have a Nice Day make really good use of the 2 h just to kind of preemptively call out and react to butterfly pressure. He's been fairly consistent with it. We've seen, like, we saw early on Axon start got that Zephyr call out on it, and since then, have a nice day's been largely on point. Either having them block or getting the counter hit confirmed. 
wondering if uh, Hap is just looking at cooldowns for him and that thing when it's ready, you know? Or uh, or when, when they see Axe use the right cooldown. Yeah. Oh, hopped over again! So clean! Oh yeah, we're going to the corner too. That's... Man. It's the OD pop. Have a nice day, playing slow. Excellent. Oh, bait. it out, gets the side switch. Is this, is this enough? To... No, it's not gonna be able to kill with this. Okay, alright. It's gonna go to like a split. It's gonna go to I I think it's all. I was gonna say, like, that was an optimal starter. We got a lot of specials in there. I was no. Yeah, so for that situation, that does like 4.5, 4 or sorry, 5.4k. And I just, it, it was just a smidge off. Both rounds that Axe has won so far has been off like some straight up theft by via 2M. Yeah, and unfortunately, even in that situation, I wouldn't necessarily call that robbery. That was just some things went wrong. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and you can see Axe just fishing with that far out. Almost always buffering that uh, that rush down behind it. One thing we've seen here from Have a Nice Day, he's been really good at kind of... He's not been able to successfully punish the come down on it, but locking Matera down with that close age, especially after uh, she's recovering from Zephyr, has been really good awareness on his part. Oh, no, and eating the meaty too. Guess the crouch confirmed? Let's do it. Goes ahead and uses the rush to get the cooldown cycling. Have a nice day. Now has his cooldowns back. And a massive life lead. And that's and a big plenty of meter. <laughs> that's the big thing is when you see six go for uh, two L into close H after the two after a two one four confirm. Um, that is a natural link that lets him cool down cycle. Oh, okay. I feel that. It's a bit tricky to like. It's. Ne I wouldn't say it's hard. It's a net play tricky to get consistently, but yeah. like if you can do it, it lets him pull down cycle in a way that's really good, especially against characters who don't have options to call it out. All right, there it is. Have a nice day. Taking that round. This is set point. Axon needs to come up with an answer. Oh, no, this isn't set point. It's first of three. Oh, yeah, we got time. Don't worry. All right, we, we, got, good. we, we got, good. got time for this to go wrong, but it's all right. So true. Yeah. That's just this all out. Yeah, Good the use of the parry escape to just get the side switch. Uh, have a nice day just does not even want to be in a situation where he has to block Matera uh, corner butterflies. So I really like that was a really good movement. You can see uh, you can see have a nice day starting to cancel that dive kick, not willing to uh, be punished by the hop again. But yeah, unfortunately having a nice not in a great place, especially right now with the life lead. Does I have two eight? H on deck anymore to kind of bridge the gap in, but just runs in and swings. Oh yeah, respected it. Okay, smart. Still, you're you got to make it happen. Yeah, back shift is two M. Such a strong option. Have a choosing to block everything. Goes for the two eight H. Axis Star reacts and he gets the trade. Axis Star tying it up. Believe in victory. All right, we got a set. Ooh, ooh, that could have been so much worse for Axisar. All right. Well, one thing so I like, we've seen Have a Nice Day really leverage sixes, uh, leveraging just kind of layering in six, eight, L and eight, M for the Rekka follow-ups. We've only seen like one really big dodge from Axis, and even then, like the rest have just been counter hits. Yeah, straight up. There's that dive kick. Oh, gets punished that time. Okay. I like the whiff punish from Axisar. Finally finds a good parry against uh, Button in 2236H. Now getting the throw pressure. Have a nice day. In a good position. Just needs to keep the pressure on Axen. And gets the 8M hit. Unfortunately, not enough. Isn't. Doesn't counter hit enough to get the follow up. But doesn't matter. Gets the back throw out of the corner. Have a nice day. Up another round. Yeah, looks like caught out the roll right there. Good awareness. Oh, -ho -ho. All right, Unfortunately, doesn't get, doesn't get the yeah, doesn't get the funny follow up, but has the corner, and that's all have a nice day needs right now. That was a very scary whiff parry. Yeah, doesn't get hit for it, which you're gonna have to count as a win, but you had to give up the corner. But we might be going all the way back. We yeah, might be back. gonna put it right back. Unfortunately, doesn't have a whole lot of cooldowns to work with. Axe and Star lets the back shift and gets the mash out. Now, have a nice day back to mid screen, having to deal with butterfly pressure, but still has a pretty sizable life lead in this and has the ability to kind of just. Use the resources to work his way back. 
This feels like one of the most frustrating games of like tug of war, watching these two go from corner to corner, just basically neutral. It's <laughs> I don't know, I'm really enjoying this. And like, even then, we saw Matera take six from like corner to mid screen just off block pressure. Which is yeah. insane. Yeah. Some like some of these characters can can carry you just by blocks alone. It is it is something else. And have a nice day saving all this meter. Axe and build it back, spending it instantly. This isn't gonna be quite enough to kill, but you are gonna be too it close to It is gonna comfort. put have a nice day in a guess for game situation. Yeah. And look at that chip, too. Just chose to dispense the mids. And yeah, Goes for the out. tricky follow-up. Axon Star ready to mash out of it. Tying it back up. That's funny. We don't usually see Have a Nice Day go for like the real funny stuff like that. So props to Axon for being ready. Yeah, Have a play style is largely kind of defined by just getting the right hit and then leveraging pressure, like light into dash and the light into redash pressure a lot to open his opponents up. But against the Terra, where it's a little bit more of a difficult proposition to get that, having a bit of trouble, unfortunately, gets put in the corner sequence and guesses wrong. Axis are going up 2-1. I have, I don't think I've ever seen somebody whiff punish Six's parry before. That was kind of cursed. I'm I've, I've had choice to do it too many, too many times. <laughs> I'm desensitized to it. It tracks. Catalina buttons, yeah. <laughs> He's just built different, bro. I'm telling you. That's also true. Yeah. You're sitting in his house, like he made you muffins, and then like you're playing GB versus, and he's just telling you the entire time how nice he is. <laughs> that, that tracks. Speaking of nice, just two air, two H the hop. Have a nice day. In a good position now. Has the corner, has cooldown. The wrong defensive option from Axis Star is going to eat a nice super. Yeah, and Axis is just waiting. Come on, make a mistake in neutral. I dare you. Yeah. Alright, block dive kick. Doesn't I hit believe anything that. after. Yeah. No, that hit did what? It. What did you hit? Oh no! I didn't see a punish on that either. We, the screen froze up for us just a little bit, but even then, I think the punishment still would have been there through the animation. Two. You are correct. I was crushing. Oh my. Alright, where's the throw? <laughs> yeah. Axe's so good at leveraging. Throw Especially against a character with no DP. Oh, that, yeah, that is so effective. Yeah, and every single time that we. Oh, unfortunately. Goes for the 2-8-H in close distance. Axis are ready for it. Easy input, super. Now having a bad position. Man, this, this is a massive life for you. Have a nice day. Probably going to build a 100 meter if they can stay alive for the next like 10 seconds or so. Again! Are you kidding me right now? Axe spacing is immaculate. Oh, uh, calls it out. Gets the OD pop. Needed that to stay alive, but has to maintain this pressure or else Axe Star can easily bust out. And Have a nice day. Doesn't have the house to navigate. He does not have the health to navigate this. No, not at all. You're also, yeah, there it is. You you have to play that perfectly, and that is that is too much for any one person. Wow. All right, so Axis are taking it three one over Have a Nice Day. That was like first game was all Have a. Um, second game was like still pretty competitive, but games three and four that was that was Axis Star. Oh my goodness. Uh, but that's that's what we've come to expect from uh, from from this cat every time he enters. And uh, yeah, Axon gets a little break. Have a nice day. Gets to play the winner of this next one. Going to be Zeram versus Wavy. Um, and I, I think we're going to see. I think we're going to see the main coming back out from Wavy. I think. Uh... Oh wait, no, that was that was Prada who switched. Oh yeah. my goodness, my mind is <laughs> melting. Um, it's that time of the night. So... That time of the night. Yeah. yeah, it is. Even for like, even for me, I'm an hour behind both of y'all, and it's still like it's starting to set in. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it, especially after Melty going a, going a little late on Monday. I'm uh, <laughs> I'm still feeling it. Um, actually, no, you know what? Now that I think about it, we might see the Percival from Wavy. Um, I feel like Charlotta versus uh, Kag is not a I great matchup it. for Kag, you know? Um, yeah, and Zeram has been very vocal in the past about how much he dislikes this matchup, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is first to, yeah, first to two again. Yes, first yeah, to so two again. Yeah, so... This is going to be our final first to two of the night. After this, we're going to go to Losers Finals. The winner of that will go on to Grand Finals, which I will explain a little closer to time. Indeed, indeed.
time, we are going to see... Yes, all right. Sticking out with Kag. Okay. Respect. Respect. But Wade is immediately setting up the defense. Pops the EX traps and now has Zeram and block strength pressure. Using the teleport to put some space behind. Immediately returning, returning back to that zoning position. Zeram almost looks like he's dash blocking with that, like, run up to L. Uh, Wavy calls out the demon flip with a dash through. Manages to get hit in the traps and now has the corner. They're stuck here. Ooh, Charlotte Ball to get out. Okay. I just gotta let that thing rip. Uh, absolutely. Especially in this matchup. Uh, absolutely. Shimmy action, not biting. Maybe trying to sneak out here. Fox the hit. Yeah. Now, using the side switch, really good option from Wavy, especially got the first hit, which left her plus. And now, gets the falling button, finds the hit in the corner. This might be dead. Yes, yeah, I was going to say, right in throw range. Yeah, Wavy's going to go for that. And we've seen Wavy in this set, or both in this set and the previous one, really leveraging that throw pressure, or that... Uh, Tick throw pressure and just using Kag stagger pressure like no one else. It's I think it's one of the things that makes his character so strong, especially when traps are on the board. Oh, the real tricky stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna take. Uh, but yeah, but a strong strike throw game is Kag is pretty critical. In my opinion. There, I'm cashing out with the SBA, not going quietly. Answer right back. That was clean. That was a pretty decisive turn. Three, eight, Certainly ain't over yet. Yeah, I think in this situation, Wavy's more zoning based style is probably the best option here. Having to navigate and work through all that is going to be difficult in general. Plus, letting Zeral in and letting him run his pressure game is not something Wavy wants to do. So, maintaining that distance and just having Zeral overextend is probably the strategy. This is going to hurt. Oh, yeah. Far heavy into Rush. Oh, drop it at the end there. Very. Zeram goes for the cheeky universal overhead. Wavy poking back and slowly working out of the corner, but eats an EX ball for their trouble. In the corner now, getting hit with the DP. What's the setup? Overdrive, yeah, blow right through the demon flip follow-up. Don't have to worry about high low when you are invincible. That nah, okay. <laughs> Zero I'm just holding it, like, yeah, it's fine. I'm in yeah, overdrive. Whatever. Yeah. 50 well, seconds. Well, Zeram doesn't even have overdrive. Or, oh my goodness, I keep looking at, like, the wrong people's meter tonight, and it's it's really, that, that's like the third time I've done that. Oh my that's goodness. That's all good. I, I'm here to keep you in line. <laughs> I am so appreciative of that. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Zeram, responding to a very strong first round from Wavy, manages to take the next two, and now, working his way in, using the Demon Flip to clear traps. Really good usage of that as well. Oh, huge whip punish right there. My goodness. A ton of damage, but yeah, there it is. Back in, had to gamble on the DP. Found the hit though. Yeah, yeah, no argument in the uh, in the success there. Absolutely. But keep in mind too, you look at all the health that their own lost. The majority of that is just through chip from having to navigate spear and trap pressure. Yeah, that's that's one of the really frustrating things about this matchup is if you don't understand exactly how like the CAG players want to use Spear, you're going to have a bad Wavy time. finds the hit, unfortunately. Doesn't activate the trap. Still has the corner pressure, though. Zeron busting out with a rush. Oh, wow. I thought that was going to be a little run under uh, punish, but not quite. Zeron sells the life lead, but yeah, those traps are Wavy still going. active. Hitting the run up close end, Zeram ready for it. It's the spot dodge punish, but unfortunately, no action after that. Wavy back in mid screen, finds the universal overhead hit. Goes for the hard knockdown, looking to close this out. There it is. Fox it. Oh, okay. Not even bothering with the super. Just no, I think that was smart. I think with the way everything super may not have gotten the hits it needed to kill. Yes, I think you're correct. A little too far away. Best to play the safe option there. Yeah, speaking of playing the safe option, Wavy immediately getting that pushback. Starts running the zoning. Spot dodges the demon flip. Now has the hit. Solid punish. Oh, no. Wow. Okay, Zero, Zero doesn't usually get caught by those. Incredible. No. Had the... All right. Wavy it Wavy it. answering back with a quick game two. That's crazy. That was, that was something else. All right. Now Zeram's the one who's going to take a... No, no, it doesn't even take a second. We're going right back in. Now mashing right back in. Zeram getting away with murder on that sweep. 
barely avoids the trap activation. But finds the E or finds the M ball very quickly. Goes for the DP. Punish. Waiting ready for it. Alright, set it up. What's it gonna be? Harry, we're at it. Can pop of you, that's what it is. Hell yeah. Ooh! Yeah, then that's a punish. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't find the second hit of that wavy in a bad position. Now she's gonna have to block, especially considering how Zeroma's used. Doesn't matter. Finds the hit, gets the trap activation. Doesn't have the meter to close this out, but Zeroma in a bad position. There's the throw, yeah. Yeah, it, there's a universe where you could gamble, like try to use the rush to extend that and try to get something off of it, but I really like that option from Wavy. Keep it safe. Absolutely. Plus, you have the fear of that that goes into your opponent's decision making. Not only are you dealing with a strike throw, you're also dealing with a potential strike throw in a super, which makes that decision a lot more chaotic. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Oh, no. Oh, goes to the funky punish. Finds the SBA, waving up 2 0, or sorry, 2 1. And that's it. That's uh, where this is first to two. So that is that is it. Zeram has been eliminated. Wavy's moving on to a losers finals. God, that second game was so explosive from Wavy. Yeah. Yeah, that was dominant. Wow. All right. Shout out to Zeram though. Um, I, I think only lost to. Uh, yeah. Have a nice day and Wavy. Um, either third or, I don't know. Potentially first, I guess. I don't know. Either way, good run from Zeron. Yeah, absolutely. Wavy now going on to fight. Have a nice day. That's a matchup I've not seen. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's right. Huh? Who did? Uh, I actually don't. Yeah, we haven't seen this, have we? Wavy. Oh yeah, because Wavy yeah, lost to Axe and having have a nice day. Moved on. All right. This is gonna yeah. be fun. So I'm gonna be curious to see. Oh, I'm, I'm wondering if we're going to see the six again from Have a Nice Day. Uh, that's a pretty good matchup uh, against Wavy, but like you, when you're playing Wavy, no, you have I, to consider. I you, were if Wavy, oh, Cag. If, if Wavy yeah. goes with Cagliostro, Bubs is coming out. That's right. that is oh, largely. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that is largely agreed on. Uh, Cag's worst matchup. Yeah. Yeah. I I don't know how I always forget that. <laughs> I can tell it's bad when like I'm like flailing and I was playing Merp and. I was just getting completely decimated. That matchup has to be horrendous. I talked to Zamu about it, and the big things that are really key in that is the Beelzebub with his movement options with Karma and with uh, two one four L mm -hmm. just does not have to respect traps. Yeah, Karma, Karma can mess up trap setups very easily. Yeah, we're gonna see it. Okay, respect for uh. For Wavy for sticking it out with Kag. Um, this, uh, well, you know, it's a first of three. We could, if if Have a Nice Day pulls a pulls ahead in an early lead, we we might see the first one. So, yeah, I was about to say. I think in this situation, Wavy's been playing Cagliostro all night at this point. No point in switching out. Just run what you know. Yeah. And check to see just how studied Have a Nice Day is at this matchup. This isn't Wavy's first rodeo against BLs above. So, assuming that she's able to play this well, the matchup may not matter. I mean, yeah. hey, off to a great start. I mean. Yeah, it's like you can't run, like you can't run funny offense if you don't get to play. And right now, Wavy is not letting have a nice day play. No, oh, that's how you need to do it. Yeah, there it is. Even ready for the DP right there. That was that was a wavy round, absolutely. Wavy hey, sitting pretty, taking a quick first round. Manages to bait, or manages to avoid the dive kick, but now back at full screen zoning. Have a switching his game plan up. Goes for the raw jump A, or sorry, jump A, and now. Oh, okay, yep. Not going for anything fancy off Karma, keeping it easy. Wavy not biting. All right, so Spears off the table for the next couple seconds. Oh, wow. have a nice day. Commits to the spin, doesn't find anything. Now. Putting Wavy back in the corner has the pressure. I can't believe Teleport just went right through the spin. That's wild. Cag <laughs> Teleport's so nasty, man. The fact that it's like plus on block, it's just gross. It's it's slightly ridiculous, yeah. I I, I don't think it should be plus, but that's just me. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. I respect that, too. I mean, I'm a hater, so... 
you know. They, you know what? There's nothing wrong with that sometimes. Hating in healthy doses is, is good for the soul. They took on a mid-tier of the Diva away from me, and I'll never forgive it. Yeah, I can't even see it. All right, and that is no, not going to be enough. Okay. But it still has a tra trap on deck. Have a nice day. You're going to have to continuously be correct. Pops the OD. Chip is no longer a factor, but still has to navigate and try not to get hit by a straight hit from Wavy. Yeah, there it is. So I believe that is the answer to Karma. Just spot dodge right through. Um, again, uh, no, I that, was a roll, that was a roll through. Or sorry, did I say spot dodge? I, I did. Roll up, That's okay. <laughs> That's like I said, we're, uh, we're here as a team. Indeed, indeed. Oh, and there's the dive kick, the uh, the Impurist Club special, EX dive kick. Um, Wavy gets a turnaround in game. Instant. This is this is Back looking throw into it. Not going for the side switch. Doesn't find the two U though. But uh, finds the teleport. Has the corner. Wavy putting have a nice day in a bad situation. Confirms for the kill. For as well as have a nice day has been playing tonight. Wavy, this this is a well practiced look from Wavy. This is nice. Yeah, Wavy is playing this very well. Goes for the throw. Doesn't find anything. Doesn't eat anything for it though. Finds the side switch. Gets the con gets the confirm. Unfortunately, not a lot of ability to convert off that, but still. Yeah. Looks like we're having a little bit of network delays. Bear with us, guys. Oh, no. Yeah, I, I think that's why we didn't see a, uh, a punish on the uh, the whiff throw right there in the in the drop. Yeah, it looks like somebody dropped. Um, yeah. Did it happen? I think oh, the connection's okay. real bad. It's going to be my guess. Yeah. I was going to say, this is what, Texas to New York? Yeah, I can't imagine that's great. No, no. Um, have a nice day. This is Canada to New York. Oh, all right. My bad. I don't know who I'm thinking of then. Yo. Um, it sorry. Looks like, as I say, it looks like uh, have a nice day is DQing, him, DQing himself. Uh, and we are going to go to finals. Oh, that's unfortunate, but it a little bit. be like that sometimes. Mind if we take like a quick two minute break before uh, before we yeah, start yeah, grand yeah, finals? Yeah, go for it. Go for all it. Right. I'll, be, I'll be right back. <laughs> Even Axe saying in chat, I really don't want to play this, but yeah. Oh no. All right, well, uh, we still have two codes left in the Maturino. So if uh if if any of the 73 y'all in chat could help out with that just right quick that would be much appreciated imp are you muted uh or did are you just chilling oh sorry <laughs> <laughs> you were muted yeah it's it's the angle of my mic stand i can't really always see the mute button oh, so sometimes yeah. i just chill um i just chill out and it uh it does that <laughs> i you know happens to the best of us all right so uh just waiting on these cats to get in the room um yeah like we said still have two oh no no we used them both all right thank you everybody pat yourselves on the back we made it through the Macharino codes <laughs> Um, we're also waiting on Seth to come back. Oh, oh yeah, true. We don't want to start without Seth. That's that would be that would be poor form. <laughs> that would be poor form. Uh... Give me one second, though. Give me one second, chat. Oh, we got a donation. Who Wait, did, did it? Nickel! What up, Nickel? Nickel, Next let's five go. It's been a minute since we've, since we've seen... Uh, oh, since we've seen Nickel in bracket. Nickel, where are you, where are you, where, uh, where are you at, homie? Soul Rob out here playing playing DDR in the, in the chat. 
Sorry about that. One I'm second. on that. Uh... Actually, everybody, give me one quick second. Are you, are you saying, Seth? Are you saying the uh, the Mountain Dews got you acting a certain way? No, not even that, man. Like I, I'm back on that gallon a day f flow. So oh, oh yeah. repercussions of my actions have caught up with me. Yeah, I've been trying to drink a lot more water at work, and yeah, I, uh, I feel you. <laughs> oh, dude, I like. I was like, I'm gonna start taking some supplements and like, make, like I got uh, the supplement that came with it is awful, but G Fuel did a Gundam line, and I grabbed that tumbler, and I've Ooh. just been using that as my go-to. Okay, okay. That but uh, if anyone would like a uh, thing of G Fuel with missing exactly one scoop, <laughs> uh, hit hit us up. We'll, we'll work this out. Cups. Get that uh. Get that Ramune melon flow. I don't even know what those words mean. What did you yeah. just say? Uh, I called you a bad thing in another language. Don't worry about it. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. So just just a normal day at the office. All right, all right. No, nah, if it were a normal day at the office, I'd tell you myself. Oh, I, you said something to me in Japanese earlier that I'm like, man, what what did you what 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 Seth uh, <laughs> Seth saying at me now? <laughs> what, like, what's, what's going on here? I was, so like it was really That's funny awesome. that happened, and I was like, I was just coming to, like I was coming down from like post workout high, and so I was a little brain down. I was like, what the fuck is he talking about? And then yeah. it happens. It's, yeah, it happens to the best of us. Sometimes you run into a half man, half shark in the wild, and you just gotta let him know. Hey, you gotta beat it. that ass. I get it. Uh, speaking of half half shark, half alligator, uh, did, you, did you hear Cool Keith's coming out with a new album? Wait, what? Yeah. Uh, you ready for this? Black Elvis 2. You got to. I'm going I'm to. I'm when, when this bracket wraps up, I'm going to send you the link. Um, oh, cause... God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah I. Man. That might be. I've got a. Uh, I've got server maintenance tomorrow. Word. I don't remember when it's coming out, but I'm very excited. My Me and my boy are going halves for the, uh, the signed vinyl. <sighs> yeah. Sounds nice. Pretty excited. I've got. Oh man, like I Um, I'm going to remake the room quickly anyway, just to see if that helps, because I don't know if that's part of the issue. So just in case I'm gonna do that. Yeah, yeah play it on the safe side. Absolutely. Alright, we're just gonna talk about cool Keith while you do that. Don't uh, that that <laughs> reminds me, like I I kinda wanna get some more albums to hang on my wall. Yeah. Cause I only have three right now. They're all bangers. Okay. Um, so I have the Silent Hill 2 soundtrack on vinyl. I have that's, the that's cool. original Resident Evil 2 soundtrack on vinyl. Okay. And I have the Snatcher soundtrack on vinyl. That one I'm not familiar with, but... Oh, based, dude, based so... Based on two, I trust you. <laughs> bro, Snatcher is sick, man. It's the game Kojima did before he did Metal Gear. Okay. And, like... This is back when, like, they just let him make games that are basically just the, uh, a popular franchise with the serial number filed off. <laughs> yes! So, Snatcher is basically just, like, what if Blade Runner had Terminators instead of the Replicants? And it rules. <laughs> that I sounds awful. love Snatcher. I'm gonna, I'll post it in our uh, TO chat, but the intro right. of Snatcher is... The intro for Snatcher is so nasty. It's so good, dude. Oh, I can't wait. I'm uh, definitely going to give that a listen. Oh, dude, that, that intro track is like... I'm grabbing it for you now, but it's like... The intro track for that is called uh, One Night in Neo Kobe City. And that thing goes so stupid, man. <laughs> all right. All right, I'm ready. It's like the Sega CD was... Well, it wasn't ahead of its time by any means, but... It's a. It had a cool sound card. <laughs> All right, I added them. I changed the keyword, guys. Just a heads up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's not YOLO anymore. It's not. I changed it. Oh, that's a I changed I, it. I was doing some giggling when I uh, I saw that. Definitely appreciate oh, it. Yeah. Energy. Well, you know, can't win them all, I guess. True. Yeah, you do what you do. Yeah. This is a run back, actually. I just realized that. Axon took a 2-1. 
Oh my gosh, that's right. Yeah, first round of top eight. I forgot about that. All right, so first to three, and Wavy is going to have to reset this bracket um, if, if he wants to uh, take it. So uh, obviously going to be a little favorite in Axe and Sar's favor, but anything could happen. We've seen we've seen some wild stuff before. Mm -hmm. Well, you know me. I got to back my gaze, so I'm, I'm with Wavy 100%. <laughs> I had Prada. I got Wavy. Like Hell yeah. They may not be my kids, but they're my kids. I'm interested to see if uh, if Wavy's gonna stick it out with Cag too. Uh, we saw we saw Wavy play Cag against Matera in winners. Um, didn't didn't work out. Like still took a game. It wasn't it wasn't like awful by any means. You know, definitely definitely absolutely. very doable. But yeah, absolutely. We uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see in a second. I guess. All right, here it is. Grand Finals. Axe and Star versus Wavy. Versus Matera, of course. Yeah, there's Wavy, the she's on the belly all this time. This is her preferred pick for this matchup. And I I understand, like, when you're in winner's side and you just want to roll with it, see what happens. I, oh, yeah. I'm not going to sit here and act like I haven't done some funny things in Street Fighter doing that. But, like, sometimes, you know, cash on the line, just let it rip. You got to break out the, the top tier. Yeah, sometimes you got to sweat a little. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, all right. We, we tech throws here. Let's go. Just put down the tarp and let fly. Yeah, it's good. Oh, no. Hey, back shift, instant button. Mid screen, though. Okay. Not the end of the world. Yeah, Accent doesn't want to be in the corner against Bellio, especially with just how nasty his pressure is and how well it locks Matera down. So getting that far, getting like far away from that and just resetting the middle of the screen is exactly where this wants to be. Yeah, kind of gets lucky with the hit off the uh, whiff command grab there. Yeah, and finally that. did. Closing it out. All right, in the clear, in the clear. Battle two. All right. Axon taking the early lead. But that was only round one. We still have plenty of game left to be played. Yeah, so I didn't get to do my spiel before because we were just kind of talking about music. Um, so, yeah, so this is your first time watching. The way Grand Finals works is the winner, who in this instance is Axon Star, only needs to win one three out of five set to win the entire tournament. On the loser side, Wavy is going to have to win one three out of five set to put Axe and Star into losers, and then a second to eliminate. Yeah, significantly harder uh, if you're coming at this from the loser side, um, especially if you already lost to the same player and winners. Like, like the mental factor there is uh, not to be discounted. Absolutely. Oh my God, Wavy, Wavy is going in right now, though. Let's go. Yo, there it is. All right, quite the answer there. Um, I like the turnaround. I, I, I thought Axe was going to run away with that for a hot second, but Wavy just turned on the gas. Still going to be stuck in the corner now. A pair of butterflies coming at you. Okay, using the parry to get a lot. Gets the anti-air. Unfortunately, doesn't find the hit for it, but Belial still in a good position. Finds the hit far H. Unfortunately, doesn't confirm off of it. Bravo Depop gets the counter hit confirmed. Ah, uh, yeah, all right. Play confirmed. Good stuff from Wavy. Got to get the full conversion off this. Build a little meter, too. Um, that could be huge if you get a little uh, a little rush confirmed. And, yeah, see, there it is. Okay. Now you're yeah, in throw range. Down. Gets the safe jump. Leveraging jump pressure. Now putting Axe Good Lord. Putting Axe Star in a guest situation. Gets the meaty DP. Closes it out with the chip damage. Wavy taking game one. Wow, uh, doing, a, doing a phenomenal job of keeping Axe in lockdown, even mid-screen, um, just using the firewall pressure. All right, yeah, see you again, just full screen, or mid-screen conversion. It's Belial, so you still got that good damage. Axe star out of the corner, trying to make this comeback happen, and okay, off to a good start. 
Not able to confirm the double overhead, though. Hey, yeah, Wavy's just blocking it all out. All right, love the patience here. Axe what? finds the trip guard to 2M into the rush. Now Wavy having to block clean. This should be, yeah, more than enough. Didn't have meter for super, didn't need it. Battle to engage. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, good call out there. Yeah, you got to spot dodge that. Good bet, but Terra's going to go for uh, for an arrow. You are too far away to be pressing heavy. Yeah, unfortunately. Wavy finding the hit gets the crouch confirmed. Now has corner control. Missing two cooldowns. Are we going to see them? Or are we going to see they. Are we going to see Wavy leverage normals or try to sneak in a cheeky command throw? But unfortunately, gets mashed out. Axe and start now back mid screen. Yeah, after getting punished for that first command throw, I would be very wary about doing that any time in the next game or two. That's like a, that's a later in the set type deal, you know? Oh, no! anti aired by the 5M. That button is so good. Oh, no, went for it! Yeah, Axe was ready, though. It's just straight up antsy here. And Axe and Star answers right back. A game of their own. And that is one game closer to shutting Wavy down here. And like we said earlier, Axe and Star only needs two more games to win. So Wavy has to be really careful, especially like each set given away is one less, is like a little less breathing room for her. But. Showing she doesn't really need it. Getting the early pressure hits into the command throw. Had corner, Axis Star found the mash out. Now back to mid screen, gets the low hit. Oh. All right, a little scary right there, but we're good. And oh. yeah, Wavy gets the whiff punish. That was huge. Far H just hitting air. Hitting air and comboing off of it, good lord. Finally able to land the command throw, and it doesn't kill. Frame trap? Oh, oh no, sorry. What for the chip setup there, it looks like. But. Yeah, Pod dodges the second hit. Goes for the five use effort setup, and that catches the back shift out. Axe and Star on one right now. Yeah, what a comeback. Um, didn't even have to spend the meter either. Oh, okay, yeah. Frame trap with DP. Wavy just wants that knockdown. All right, Butterfly's out once again. Yeah, just backing off. Not willing to risk the uh, clash with these big wild ones. Back throw into the corner, though? That was sick. Just has to hold all of this. Yeah, this is a rough spot to be in. Throw loops. Here we go. Wavy finding the confirmed. Tied up one game, one round piece. Oh, Ooh, okay. A little closer, that could have potentially been an air unblockable right there. But. Axe and Star rocking with the smallest life lead. Goes to the full screen zoning position. Unfortunately, goes for the raw Zephyr, gets hit. Wavy now has the corner and a much more substantial life lead. Rush confirm into the butterfly setup. Only gets one out, but yeah, I, don't, I might not have had time to put the second one. Kind of an awkward trade, but we take those. Action Star immediately just trying to get distance away, not wanting to deal with any of this, but gets hit by the auto combo in the command throw. Wavy baits the, baits the back shift, finds the hit, now going up 2-0. That was clean. That was That's so good. Cool. And that's like, a, and like the big thing about that too is like it's a really funny OS because I think that if Axe Star hadn't done the back shift, it would have just come out as close. Yeah. Yes, I think you are correct. Or you, even maybe auto combo, but I don't, I don't know. I think you're right. I think close heavy. Yeah. All right. Try to try to play it out on this uh, this connection again. Oh no. Ooh, a couple of scary whiffs right there. He's on both sides. All right. Go for the normal setup. There's the throw. All right. We got a chance. Plus frames. We take those. Jumping out. No punish on the JL. And Axis Star is out. Trying to maximize those butterflies. Yeah. 
Rush confirm off the far L. Coming back down, set up. All right, blocks the first one. Doesn't block the second one. Should have enough to kill, and there it is. Axe and Star putting up another round of the board. Battle two, engage. Wavy uh, finding, the, finding the jump in, unfortunately, not deep enough to get the follow-up, but has Axe and Star in the corner, now leveraging pressure. Ah, here's the throw, Luke's. Do another one, do another one. <laughs> not keeping it easy that time. Ooh, with the DP, Axe and Star able to get the punish. Butterflies are out. But Wavy using the back shift and the EX projectile to shut that right down, but still ends up getting stuck in the corner. This ain't great. Absolutely. Oh. Now Wavy, unfortunately, waking up directly into the Mascara setup, losing a grip of health off this. Accent doesn't have meter for a rush follow-up or a super, but building it quickly. Now it's on deck. There it is. We're tied up two apiece. Axis Star only needs one more game to close out this tournament. And yeah, going right back in. All right, Wavy sticking it out with Belial. Final game of at least the first set of grand finals. We'll see. We'll see if there's going to be a second one. All right. Well, that's a great start to it. Gets the crouch confirm. Should be able to carry to the corner. Yeah, but Axe is so ready with that back shift to the corner to the buttons. Now starting to use back shift and trying to control the corner, or trying to control the screen spacing, but Axe and Star finally managing to get these hits with the keep out game. Keeping Wavy at an arm's lead, but finds the hit on the Zephyr. Unfortunately, not able to close everything out, but sitting in a good position. Oh, oh. Oh, that actually punished. Okay. Yeah, he's got it. Just going ahead and putting as much distance as Axon can. Doesn't even want to try to play around with any of this. Beautiful. Ready for it that time. So, yeah, that's the downside. If you're close and you, you get hit by that parry, like, you basically don't have a chance of countering it. But you're that far away, you can preemptively do something if you know your opponent's going to do it. Absolutely. But, oh, that was a dirty cross up. <laughs> This, the, I don't know. I don't want to call that yet. Plus frames, stuck in the corner, but the the, the fabled Belial to you comes in clutch again. All these butterflies. Back down. Oh, blocking it all out. The DP trades. Oh, my goodness. There it is. All right, Axe and Star, with, with with the classic Far L into a rush confirm, able to close out the tournament, winning three two over Wa Wavy. Yeah, excuse me. Um, yeah, congrats to Axe and good stuff. Putting a, another dub in the old belt. It's becoming very uh very very commonplace. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's it. That's the Axis Star Classic right there. Far out, far out, rushed. That's it. Didn't didn't need anything else after that. Axis making the rent money is that is that what Chat's saying? Hey, you know you got to get that money somehow. Respect, <laughs> respect. Um, yeah. Thank you to everybody who came out. As most of you probably already know, um, these are weekly. So the next one will be next Wednesday at 8 p.m. Um, other stuff coming up, as you guys can see on the bottom, uh, in the little ticker, we got Blaze Blue tomorrow evening. Uh, on a Sunday, we have Uni, and then on Monday, we have our Melty Finals for the season, which I'm very, very, very stoked about. Um, I don't know if any of you follow Lumina. Melty Finals! Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> That, um, <laughs> no, I mean, dude, that bracket is stacked. I'm just like, can't wait looking through it. All 16 players that are in it, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a great time. So, definitely, if you want to see some good melty, uh, definitely stop by. Um, what else is coming up? We do have our next live scheduled for May 20th, but I don't have the sign up yet. But if you're in the tri state area, definitely come out. We're gonna have Grand Blue. As per usual, we always have Grand Blue, Uni, 
Strive, and Lumina. Those four games are always there, and then we always add like a fifth, sometimes sixth game. Um, hey, hey, Imp, I I don't like Amazon, but I really I really want to support you somehow. How do you? Is there is there a way I can do that without paying Amazon? There is, as a matter of fact. I have a Patreon that I'm very bad at mentioning. Um. We're, I'd say you've gotten a lot better at it. Mostly yeah, you have, you like, have got a lot better. <laughs> we, we, we will, and even on the nights that you're not, don't worry. We're going to make sure you get paid. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, it yeah, does yeah, help yeah. out. There's a bunch of different tiers with different perks. Um, there's one tier that's basically the same as a Twitch sub, but Amazon doesn't take half, which is super helpful. Um, and then different levels give different things. Like There's a level that lets you uh, call out stream matches if you so desire. Um, and just pick a set every bracket to, uh, to support. Pretty much all the money from the Patreons goes to seeding brackets anyway, so it's just like, it helps me break even. But, yeah, I think those are all the shoutouts on my end. We are, as you guys know, sunsetting the beginner bracket, and so starting in June, every Sunday, instead of beginner brackets every other week, alternating with uni, we're gonna have SF6. So, uh, Definitely yeah, for that. stay tuned That's for good. that. I, I think it'll be a blast. Um, I'm very, to, very excited to, for that game. About to pull a Linux and start playing and commentating at the same time, man. Yeah. I'm so, I don't think, like. I'm ready for it. I don't think you understand, like, ever since that, like, I'm excited for Rising, but like, Street Fighter I, I, I came from this game, or I came to GB Versus from Street Fighter, and like, it's time to go home for a bit. Yeah. Like, I, every, like, I, I have not, my entire week has just been me watching the footage that came out, like, on repeat. So hype. The Marissa footage, specific. I was not interested in Marissa before I saw some of this footage, and now I'm like, okay. I, I've been going back and forth because I'm like, man. Because well, originally we I was... get too in the weeds on that, do you guys have anything you want to shout out? <laughs> <laughs> just, just follow me on Twitter, Lennox207. See right there on the screen. Um, yeah. Catch me at Combo Breaker. I will also be at Combo Breaker. Um, you can find me at Seth Series on Twitch. Or sorry, on uh, on Twitter. Um, I should probably get my Twitch back. Is that I changed the name like four times. But uh, you can follow me on that for right now. Awesome. So I'm going to send everybody over to Casa. They're finishing an SF5 bracket, I believe. Oh, this set's a banger, too. Yeah, it's uh, it looked like a really good set in the uh, in the thumbnail, so definitely join the raid. And yeah, I will catch a lot of you guys probably next week. Have a good night, everybody. See ya. Oh, peace. Oh, and happy peace. birthday, Soul Robin, in two days. Happy birthday Yo, today, Soul Raba. Happy birthday, Soul Raba. <laughs> I will forget to tell you, so I'm telling you now. Damn. See ya. See ya.